Hey stream. Hello, hello. Good evening, everyone. Nitrosoxide. Potser to master, my teacher Sam. B goals, pigeon knuckles. Hello to the symbols that I don't understand. I'll have to look into that. Hello, Anton. Oh, gotta change my title. Good point. Very good point. How's everyone doing tonight? Awesome pro chess league coverage. I just got done watching uh, David Pruce and Ben Feingold covering the Pacific Division, aka the craziest division of the whole pro chess league, I think. They always have some like blunders going on, miss mates all over the place. Yeah, it's just very wild to watch. And it's nice because I can play my match or follow the Blizzard if I'm not in the lineup and then immediately watch the coverage with Ben and David, the Pacific Division. All right, changing my title here. Let's go with post pro chess league bullet. That's nice and simple. Udai, I don't have a sub button yet. I'm still a Twitch affiliate, so I'm working on that. Hopefully with more streaming under my belt, I'll get that Twitch partnership. It's on the way. How's it going, Brendan Billy? Floyd Akash, the lovely chest bay, of course. Thanks, my teacher, Sam. I appreciate that. That is a high honor. I take that very seriously, that I'm your favorite. Yeah, midnight snack, that's right. Uh, B Goals asks, didn't see the blizzard, did Nagel dominate from board four again? So Sean won his very first game of the match, round one. He beat Alexander Shabalov, but then he lost a couple games he finished with, I believe, one and a half out of four, which is also what I scored today. So not the best match from both Sean and I, but Andrew Tang made up for it. He went three and one. He won his last three games, uh, or maybe not last three, but he finished three and one, only losing to Wander Liang. And Daniel Gurevich did well again. He's been a big producer for us. He has excellent nerves. Even when he gets down on time, he's, he's always like hanging in there and producing good moves. So we really like having him on the team. And he scored two and a half today. We won by the slimmest possible margin, eight and a half, seven and a half. Oh, really? Twitch affiliate gets a sub button? I didn't know that. Okay, so the button is coming. I'm not too worried about it. I just like doing these streams for you guys, just trying to, you know, build my streaming resume, let's say. Swole19, I just said hi to you. How's it going? Hey, you guys, does the audio sound better today? Because I went in and tweaked some stuff in my XSplit settings. And I got my layout tweaked a bit more. Um, I think the board, the chess.com board, is a bit more visible. I also moved the chat around. Usually I have the chat on my second monitor over here. But I don't like having to turn my head so much. So now I just did a layout change. And I put the Twitch chat, like, popped out right next to my board. So I can just keep it all on one monitor. Sounds really good? Okay. Yeah, yeah, the webcam audio was not great, but now my microphone is somehow mysteriously working again, even though I don't think there was a reason for it not working last time, or at least I couldn't figure out one. I feel like I missed some sort of donation. Let me go to my Streamlabs one second, guys. I missed something that happened. Oh, maybe not. Okay. Maybe that was just a follow that I or a host that I missed. Oh, we got the, the Tang emojis in there. I like to see that. The Penguin GM1 emojis. Yeah, Thorax. Home from work. Gonna watch some chess. Yeah, okay, the host. Good, good. Glad I didn't miss that. Oh, so as Mubot just said, I'm playing a GM Norm tournament in St. Louis next week. I got a last minute invitation and uh, yeah, I'm playing a norm tournament going to be there from February 8th through the 13th. And it'll be similar to the one I played in, I believe it was November or October. So I'm looking forward to that. I'm going to be playing four nine round tournaments in the next two months. I'm going to the St. Louis one and then I'm going to play the Southwest Class Championships in Dallas, Texas. I have one day in between and then I play this Southwest Class Championships. And then I go to my friend's wedding in Cancun for a few days, a little vacation, see my friends get married. And then I'm going to Iceland for two weeks, followed by another one of those norm tournaments in Charlotte. 
So it's going to be a busy next couple of months for me. I'm pretty much just going to play these tournaments and stream when I'm home. I don't think I'll have time for too much else. Uh, when will I be in Dallas? February 15th through the 19th, give or take a day. Thor X 001 donated $20. Thank you, Thor. Appreciate that donation. Yeah, Iceland. Iceland's awesome. The Reykjavik Open. If you guys are looking for a very good open tournament to go to, even if you're not a title player, because anyone is welcome to play in this event, it's one of the best. I love going there. This would be my third time playing the Reykjavik Open. It's held in this venue called the Harpa, which is this gorgeous music hall right on the bay. So like right on the ocean, essentially. And you can just Google Harpa and see what I mean. It's an absolutely spectacular venue. Conditions are excellent. I just always feel really relaxed in Iceland, so I'm definitely looking forward to that one. Iceland is expensive, that's right. I found an Airbnb that was pretty affordable, but the flight was expensive. They used to have direct flights from Minneapolis, where I'm usually traveling from, to Iceland. I remember when I went there last time, I just got like a Minneapolis to Iceland direct flight on Icelandic Airlines, very good airlines. But this time, everything was routed through like strange locations like I would have had to go to Dallas first or the flight that I actually booked I got to fly to Seattle and then I have to go back across the country to Iceland Seattle to Iceland because that was the only real affordable option everything else was just crazy and I was trying to avoid this airlines called wow airlines have you guys ever heard of it because I was reading some reviews it looks super sketchy it was basically like the spirit airlines of uh, northern Europe is how I would describe it so I was just trying to avoid WOW Airlines at any cost because the reviews were just absolutely awful. And I succeeded in doing that, but uh, had to pay a little extra. Yeah, low cost carrier. It was just one of those airlines when you Google it and you read the reviews, everything is zero or one stars. And most of the reviews are never fly this airline. <laughs> so, you know, I'm not here to disparage WOW Airlines, but when you've got many, many reviews like that, you're probably going to stay away if you're uh, an informed consumer. So this is going to be a bullet stream. I'm going to try to look for a game right away. And I might... First of all, let's see if there's any tempting opponents here. But I might just put out a random seek and go from there. Good amount of chess today. Yeah, played the Pro League. But I'm still itching to play more. So I'm just taking a look at who's who's online at the moment. Wow Airlines, you'll go wow, that's right. Oh, thanks, Braden. I'll take a look at that in my email. Uh, Tasteless Calculator, yeah, I think I'll probably upload this to YouTube. I'm not sure I'll upload all my streams to YouTube, but... If this is a, a decent one, I think I'll do so. <laughs> Thanks, my teacher, Sam. DJ Chess Dog, that's good to hear. That my achievement of the Grandmaster title, if and when it happens, will be the fulfillment of your life. That's a, That puts even more pressure on me. But thank you. I'm, I'm not going to let you down. Ah, sorry, Matt. Okay, guys, let me find a game. I just got to get in here. Udai donated $5. Been devouring your videos since last year. Hashtag my comfort zone. Awesome. And I saw you in a couple of the other streams, too. Uh, I think you were in the last one I did. So thanks, Udai. Okay, one minute. We're going one minute, no increment. After that match with Hammer, I just, I can't stomach any increment for a while. And also the Pro Chess League with the two-second increment. Uh, oh, Kirkwood, you want to play? Well, how can I say no to that? Okay, Kirkwood is the uh, warm-up opponent. Much love, Kirkwood. <laughs> you know, just to get the juices flowing. But you never know. I mean, you guys have seen me lose. If you follow my streams... You've probably seen me lose the first game of the session more than once. Uh, Biffins donated $5. I'm looking forward to cheer badges and emotes. Good luck getting Twitch partner. People will be jumping to support your chess endeavors. Thank you. That means a lot to me, especially that you are willing to donate so early into my 
Twitch career. So, yeah. Hope I can do good work on this platform. And um, it's just good to know that you guys are already supporting me. Um, Can I take here? I think so. If queen d5, I think I have knight f3. I think. That was looking a little sketchy, but I think it held. Okay, knight c4. I want to... I want to land one of these guys against Kirkwood, if he lets me. Now I'm being boring and just trading. Oop, he lost track of the bishop there. Can't lose track of the bishop. Now, how do I end Kirkwood's resistance? Rook a6, or maybe queen here, and try to go rook a7. Uh, DJ Chess Dog, yes. I'm going to work with chess.com to make emotes. I think that's um, going to be a top priority for sure. I have some ideas in mind, but if you have additional ideas, definitely let me know. Going after f7. Oh, let's do one of these. I can't resist this one. And then knight d6 with the fork, the big fork. Not as good as the big switch, but the big fork. Okay, let's just take that. Let's hop back over here, go attack a pawn, and I won on time. My hard-earned zero rating points. Kirkwood giving out freebies. No, he put up a good fight. He put up a good fight. GM Chess says, you guys were waiting on me. Well, I'm here now, and I've got my coffee. The barista at Starbucks generously gave me the... I, I was leaving Starbucks right when it closed at 10 o'clock. And she's like, hey, you come in all the time. Let me give you some free iced coffee before we dump it out. Because they just dump it out at the end of the night. So I'm all caffeinated up, even though it's, what, 11.15 now. I'm on the border of Minneapolis and Brooklyn Center. You should hit up the Brooklyn Center Starbucks one of these times. No, I haven't been to Brooklyn Center maybe ever. Or at least not for a long time. But, um, yeah, I would love to, Alpha. And if you ever want to get together in the Twin Cities and play some chess, we can probably make that happen. There's actually a group or two that uh, meet, especially in Minneapolis. It'll be fun to go check out. Absolutely need a Scandi emote with the two pawns and a coffee emote. Yes. Yeah, coffee emote. Probably can't brand it as a Starbucks emote, right? Like that might be some sort of copyright infringement. <laughs> Are you a snack because I could eat you up? Nice, Pigeon Knuckles. When was the last time you didn't have a beard? Uh, I've had this beard for a little over a year. And prior to that, I had never really grown a beard in my life. I mean, maybe the longest I had gone without shaving would be like a week. A little over a week tops. But, yeah. After a certain point, I just decided to switch it up. And I actually really like having a beard. It's much easier to maintain than... Um, you know, having stubble or having to shave every day or two. That's annoying. And your skin gets irritated. But with a beard, and I know some beard purists will be like, dude, you don't have a beard. You just have like glorified stubble, just slightly longer stubble. And to that, I say, this is a beard. I will call it as such. <laughs> you know, it's not some crazy like Santa Claus beard, Amon Hamilton beard prior to the Grandmaster title, but I will take it. Cheering for my Eagles on Sunday. Ah, no. Can't cheer for the Eagles, man. I'm just hoping to watch a good game. I have no rooting interest between the Eagles and the Patriots. Thank you, Santiago. I'm glad you like the beard. All right, I'm going to send out another challenge here. Um, Let's see. Just don't know if I want to do a rating range. Yeah, we better do a rating range. Let's make it rated. And range, uh, Squash Addict donated $2. In the Pacific Division, I hope you're rooting for the heavy favorites, the Australian Kangaroos. Also waiting for the Queen D8 emote. Yeah, that's a good point. Thank you for the donation. I need a Scandi emote. I don't know what that would be. What exactly a Scandi emote would be. Maybe a Black Queen. I think that's a decent one. At first I was thinking a flag, but Scandinavia is just a region, right? It's, it's Norway, Sweden, Denmark, I believe. I don't think Finland is in it. I don't think Iceland is included in the Scandi territory. 
So I think a black queen would actually be the best. Step one, Twitch partner. Step two, Starbucks sponsorship. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That would be great. Uh, John goes Amon until he gets GM2. Nah, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to copy Amon. I'm, I'm happy with the length. I just, I put on the old beard guard and just trim it every few days. That works. Oh, I skipped the donation. Ah, BJH. I missed your donation. BJH says, coffee close to midnight, my kind of guy. Yeah, thanks, BJH. And by the way, BJH, you probably saw, but I made you a moderator. Or more accurately, Chess Bay told me to make you a moderator, and you seem like a good guy for the job, based on uh, your solid work and viewership I've seen in other streams and my streams in the past. So I hope you're okay with that. An emoji of Greg puking. <laughs> yeah. We can't honor Greg with an emoji in my channel. That's just wrong. Iceland is Scandi adjacent, but not officially Scandi. Yeah, exactly. Slowly worked through your YouTube videos, and when I made it to the one with your beardless face, it really threw me off. I was like, huh? Yeah, yeah it's quite a big change. People look a lot different with a beard and without a beard. Yeah, Chess Bay needs some help. Chess Bay can't do every, everything herself. We need to diffuse the modding responsibilities around. Okay, let's actually fulfill this rating range thing. I'm gonna go minus 200 to plus 400. Let's see who we get. Hopefully I can get into some sort of match. That would be ideal. Oh, we got a game. Win Z, guys, win Z. Ooh, this is an old foe. I played this player on the ICC many times, and also I had a video series, Road to 2800, where I was trying to reach 2800 bullet, and I played Win Z many times, particularly in one match that actually pushed me over the limit and got me to 2800. So this is a Grandmaster, I believe, from Vietnam, and he plays some wacky stuff, man. He also has a cool tendency when he's going to resign. He tends to hang his queen if his queen is still on the board. Like, I'll take a, a pawn with the queen and just uh, only then resign immediately afterwards. Just a small-sized Viking helmet or something Scandinavian-themed? Yeah, that's possible. That's definitely possible. Try to attack this pawn. Knight there. I think I should take that because, ooh, d7 is looking juicy. That's a juicy one. And also a queen c3. Queen c3 here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That almost works, but not quite. Yeah, let's just go queen c3. I was thinking about uh, knight f6 immediately, but I think this is just much better. I'm going to give up a couple pawns at the end. And they have a hard time getting their pieces out, too. Let's go here. Uh, check. Yep, watch this. Resigns coming. Knight takes b3, resigns. Oh, no. Okay. We got 20 points there. Hey, Alec Gorshkov, good to see you back in the stream. Okay, he loves doing flank stuff. He combines a queenside fianchetto with flank action. So watch for that. Um, Let's just take this, and then I'm going to go here. I think when I was playing that match against Win Z, I was having success with some sort of strategy like this. Uh, let's go here. Maybe try to put this in. Take... Yeah, and I wonder if this is a decent move. I'll try it. Hmm, he's unimpressed. Okay. Greedy. Okay. Now I gotta back this up out of here. And hopefully obtain an initiative. I'm hitting this. I can take here. No, I can't. Never mind. I thought I had queen e4, but there's bishop d3 at the end. Um, okay, let's go here. Oh, I got to play much faster. I'm getting killed on the clock here. This is not good. Okay. 
Faster John. I'll get to that donation in a second. Oh, now I hung my queen. Was not expecting that one. All right. <laughs> We're signing that game. I lost 47 points for that game. Am I just much higher rated than this guy? 2603. Ooh. Maybe chess.com has had a change to the rating system or just the fact that I haven't played for a while. Whoa, Thor X, you donated $100? Dude, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. I think that's by far the largest single donation I've had on my stream. Not counting my match with Lawrence Trent, so many thanks. Many thanks, Thor. <laughs> that's putting the stream off to a good start. On chess, thanks for embedding. Yeah, thank you. Hey, Danny. Good to see you. Danny, I like your reaction to uh, Eric Rosen's stalemate. The beautiful King H8. That was brilliant. Um, okay, let's go Rook B1. I want to go B3, but I don't want to run into Knight E4. I'd really like to avoid Knight E4. Say what? Yeah, that's right. That was my reaction to Thor's donation. Extremely generous donation. Um, okay. I need to go A4 and maybe try to bother this. I'd love to win D5. It's going to be kind of tough. But eventually I'd like to make that work. I don't know about this move. My knight is in a funky location. Maybe I can do some sort of rearrangement like this. Is that completely crazy? I'm going to go for it. Hmm. Let's go here. Okay, now I get the square again. Attack this rook. This looks very good. Because I've got pressure down this diagonal too. Um, but again, I need to play faster. Silly looking move I just played, but uh, okay, take that. Go after d5. Oh man, brutal. Okay, got a flag. It'd be a tough one to flag. Block here. Mm. I want our time. Okay, I'll take it. Whew. This player is a little slower than me, I think, so that helps. Hey, Anchorless. Thanks a lot. Going for the rematch. Danny says, I'm on a touch bed in touchpad in bed, half naked, trying not to be too loud for my wife. Yeah, that sounds like the life of a married chess guy. We'll play sometime soon, Danny. Maybe we can revamp or relaunch the chess rival series. Cool, thanks for the chess TV host. Now that you're playing on chess.com, will we ever see some bug house? Yeah, absolutely. Would love to do some bug house. Especially if another streamer is interested in doing it. It'd be cool to have a tandem stream bug house going. Okay, Winzy is not there. Oh, just as I said that, never mind. Okay, I'm going to go for the same queenside strategy because I liked what happened in that last game. And, okay, I'll do the same thing. I'll try to set up this dark square bishop. Because Winzy just loves attacking, like G4 coming. They always play that sort of thing. So, all right, let's do this. I'm expecting Rook D1, no. Let's go here, try to attack both of these. Um, okay, go here. Eye this pawn. Hmm. This queen escapade has not really worked out. I'm just backing everything up, trying to get out of the way. 
Mm, okay. Offering a pawn to try for some sort of counterplay. Let's take this direction. Ugh, my king safety is highly questionable here. Highly questionable. It's going to be a pawn. Also, rook d7 coming in is yikes. Glad they didn't play that. Let's try to give up an exchange. I wouldn't take it, though, if I were white. I would try to keep the attack going. Mm. That's a tough one. That's a very tough one. Hmm, I don't know about that. Okay, run with the king. Oh, I have queen a1. Didn't notice queen a1 was a thing. Okay, I still have chances here. Let's do that. Check. Go take this. Oh, he hung his queen. Take. And I checkmate. Ooh, 2.8 on the clock. Queen A1. I noticed that a little late, but it helped me once he was trying to attack on the king side. He kind of just got blinders on. He was going all in on the king side. Oh, that was a close one. We need a John versus Tang match. Well, if you guys want to see a bloodbath, then yes, we can absolutely have that match. And I would, I would do it anyways, even though I'm gonna, I know I'm gonna lose a pure bullet match against Andrew. Really, any match at any time control with Andrew. Thanks, Chess. Okay, Winzy, back again. This is a sharp line. Knight f6. Uh, let's undermine right away. Go here. Lots of pawn tension. All sorts of pawn tension. Let's go here. If he takes on e4, I'm going to take here. And I feel like castling would be right here. Take, take. Yeah, let's castle. Looks a little suspicious, but I don't know. I get a timely check-in. Try to stop him from castling. Pay the penalty of a bishop. I'm amped up, Le Flaneur. I absolutely am. It's got to be the coffee. Okay, more pieces into the fray. Play for the initiative. He might just want to give a pawn so we can castle. Like, castling right now would be completely normal. Can I take? Let's do it. Take, queen e6, bishop g6. Let's go for it. How do you stop this? You got to give up the queen. We got it, guys. Take the bishop. Okay, 2785. Let's go. Did you know that the Blizz are the only undefeated team in the PCL? Yes, I did know that. Um, I thought for a second that the Stockholm Snowballs were also undefeated, but yeah, the Blizz, I guess, were the only ones, which is pretty crazy. Uh, he wants to take on d5. He wants the capture there. Okay, I should play d4 probably. Let's take. Develop. I got to watch this, though. I think I averted some sort of disaster there. Ooh, nine, now knight f2 is possible. This is a good position. Go here, stop h5. Okay, we'll see if he's willing to take. He is. Go here. Mm, I'll let him take h5. I don't think I care about that pawn much. Just go here for safety purposes. Needs to get this knight in the game. Hmm. That move I wasn't really expecting, but let's go back. Yet again, I'm playing extremely slow. I'm coming to f2 next. Um... Okay, come here. I want rook d1. Yeah, he's being smart. The king is open. Much better, but the king is open. 
Ooh, got a queen trade. That helps. He's going to pivot back with his knight. Oh, I dropped that pawn. That's not good. Come on, John. We can do this. Faster. Ah, lost on time. Yeah, he was determined in that game. 61 moves, but couldn't get the job done. Maybe I had something when my queen was on A2. I'm not sure. It was close. Yeah, hopefully you'll be able to subscribe pretty soon, Danny. That would be awesome. Okay, let's go here. I want to go E5. I actually saw this in a game recently. Um, between Benjamin Moon and someone, Angelo Young. Um, I think this should be almost winning for white. I gotta remember the way, though. I think something like this? Don't exactly remember... I know it was a capture here. I messed it up. But I'll try it anyways. I'm going to do this. Looking for knight f6. And he's going to sack that. Uh, let's go here. Got to keep threats alive. And he's going to have an awfully hard time dealing with the threats around his king. Hmm. Check. Okay, let's check. It's crazy that this is happening, because like I said, this is um, exactly like a game I saw recently. Go queen c6. Probably should. And he's going to keep it complicated. Check. Check. Uh, he's going to escape, but I have knight takes e6. Okay. He's got to run again, otherwise he gets mated. And we got him. Queen coming into b6, mate. Yeah, I messed that up, but uh, if you look at, you know, that Charlotte chess tournament, if you're following my results there, there was a game in the very first round in the IM section between Ben Moon and Angelo Young. That same exact position after queen b6. I think what I should have done and what Ben did is rook takes g1, queen takes g1, then take here, this, and I think now queen in? Something like that. Like there was a rook takes g1 inserted. But. <laughs> okay. Let's continue with this d5 knight c6 strategy. It just seems to work out decently well against this player. Knight c3, I'll play d4 again. I liked how that turned out. What? Really? Okay. Okay, now there's knight takes c7 as a threat. Uh, I'm just going to go here. Play f3. Take. And then this, pin. Yeah, it has to play f4. I want this if I get the chance, but h8 is also hanging. Let's castle first. Uh, take. Got to watch this diagonal, though. Oh, bishop c4. Yikes. Run. Come back here. Yeah, I tend to eat plants. I do. I usually do. He's going to keep on trucking. I got to keep this closed. You can just take that, though. You can take and he's threatening g6. Take and threatens g6. Okay, let's go here. I oh, probably takes here. I have to keep the lines closed at any cost. Can I sneak that in? That would be great if I could. Yep, yeah, he allows it. Oh, I should have taken with the other rook. That's a bummer. Okay, now obviously I'm losing. I'll still play it out though. He doesn't have hardly any time.
he might mess up. Stalemate me. Let's go hide behind enemy lines. All right, draw. I'll take it. Lose 10 rating points, but draw. But yeah, I tend to eat plants. We're all playing in the same tournament hall. So I walk around, I look at the other games. You mostly focus on your own game, but you see stuff in other games too. Uh, the Clarendon Court Defense. Let's play G4 against that. I actually had this in the match against Lawrence a few times. He was consistently going to this defense. I'm going to play Bishop F4. So I want to play... I want to play h3, but I don't want him to be able to play g3. I want to be able to take with my bishop and kind of keep my structure intact. So let's play like that. And his king is open. This is somewhat similar to how I played against Jennifer Yu today in the pro chess league. Just playing for the initiative as much as possible. Especially against these systems where f5 is played. Okay, here I can take this. This looks nice. Um, okay, I'm going to take that. I know that offers a queen trade. Let's take. Back this up. He's going to try to use the d3 square. At least I thought he would. That pawn I don't really care about. Let's take. Well, guard d3. This is weak, too. I want to go after that as soon as I can. Because I don't think he'll play rook h8 here. He's not going to go passive. So I should have a small edge in this position. Nothing major, but yeah, like it could yield a pawn like it just did. Let's play faster, though. <clears throat> I need to get this going. So I can get bishop e5 in. And that's a nice move to get in. Don't like losing that pawn. Don't like losing that pawn. But okay, he's got issues. Oh no. Not seeing the forks, guys. <laughs> Missing the forks. All right, same thing. Go hide behind enemy lines if possible. And we got a drop. Okay. So it's bailing me out that he's a bit slow at the end. Because, you know, a guy like Andrew or Eric, they, they would never let me escape in those situations. Let's play this. You can see, here come the flank pawns, guys. He loves that flank pawn action, I'm telling you. If this guy could move every single pawn by move, uh, you know, 10, he absolutely would. And in fact, I think sometimes he does. <laughs> He's probably going to play h4 soon. Uh, let's play here. Yep, there you go, h4. But I feel okay about this position. My knight's kind of in a weird spot, but he can't castle queenside without losing a3. So this should be decent. Yeah, Black Pawn Martyr win is a creative player. This guy's real creative. Let's go back here. He's starting e5. He came close. Seven out of eight pawns moved. Yeah, <laughs> that's a good point. He's just got this phalanx. Trying to take me down with this. F5 is probably going to be played. Okay, now at least I can castle. I don't know how safe castling is here, but it felt like it had to be played. Okay, now this pawn might drop, though. And even if he gets that in. I've got F6 guarded. Um, let's take check. I'm going to... Hmm. Oh, queen f6. Brutal. I had to sack the knight there. I had to play something like queen e5. All right. Lost that one. Let's go with the flank opening. I meant to put that pawn on d4. Okay, let's sack this. I'm going to send this out and try to pin this knight. Go here. I want to advance d4 if possible. I 
Is it fair to say Winzy is the GM version of Songlo? He is Songlo. This is Songlo. He's the GM version of E player, yeah. Where is E player, by the way? He needs to get in here. He could be watching and just not making his self known, but I miss E player. This is a miserable position. I'm going to play this in sack, but this is not a sound sacrifice by any means. I'm just trying to muddy the waters, open some lines. Maybe I can get this in. Mm, let's go here, try to attack this guy. Uh, okay. This is rough. Can just take that actually, yeah. I'm just down no pawn, down three pawns here with no compensation, but I'm still gonna try. Oh man. <laughs> oh, fork, fork city. Another one of these guys, Scandy Swindle, coming up. And I think this time he's not going to let me escape. Yeah. He deserved to win that one. All right, see you, DJ Chess Dog. Okay, I'll go here. Just stop any Bishop B5 business. And always the queen coming out to F3, his calling card. Okay, I'll just develop. Just develop. Look for this. Mm, I can take. I can take the rook. He'll probably take on d5, yeah. Let's try to break this up. I'm somewhat weak on the light squares, though. Like bishop h3 coming. Take that. Pre move this. I want to get this going. Attack F4. And I'll just take all his pawns. And he's playing for an initiative, but it shouldn't work out. What? No way that works. I've got f6 guarded. Okay, I should just come down here. Uh, let's go here. Go attack the weakness. Yep, he tried the bullet move, rook h3. Can't blame him. Yeah, RIP the road to, tw to 2,800 rating. Got to get it back. Okay, I got to learn from my match with Mr. Hammer. Don't let your opponents take the center unnecessarily. You don't have to allow that. All right, let's attack him over here. I want to get an h5. This looks very fun. Now, knight e5. Some ideas like this in the future. Uh, in fact, let's go here. I'm just going to reposition. Do this. And take. Mm, I know he can take here, but I'm going to sack that. I'll try to expose his king a bit. I need to open lines. Let's go here. Looking for some bishop a3 business or e6. Yeah, he sees what I'm up to. All right, e4. That pawn was just getting in my way. <laughs> he doesn't take my rook. It's probably smart. Um, okay, go here. This guy is just killing me on the clock. This is not good. 
just ruthless on the clock right now. Oh, I thought he'd take with the king. <laughs> that was not good. What's your favorite fast food burger if you had to pick? Uh, probably just like a quarter pounder from McDonald's if we're talking chain stuff. I'm not picky. But I don't eat that sort of stuff that often. Be pretty rare for me to go to McDonald's. Okay, take. Go here. I think he'll move his queen this time. No, it does that. Okay, let's go here. I want to try to get this here as quick as I can. Mm, okay. Let's take. Mm, I'll go back. I think he's looking for c4. Or just the wind of the pawn. But this position is reasonable. We've got pressure. He can't take on g7. That's important. Let's hide the king. And yeah, now he can take there. He's got to watch some stuff around his king. Ooh, and that's a blunder. I will take that one. Is that position already losing, though? Because um, I'm threatening queen a1, and if he trades first and then plays king b1, I still have rook d1. All right, so we get one back. It's 8 to 6. I have a narrow lead. John, do you like Chick-fil-A? Yeah, Chick-fil-A is delicious. Chick-fil-A is really good. They're actually building one of my cities, so I'm excited for that. Okay, let's take this and build a nice little structure. Look for the knight coming in. Yeah, we don't really have Shake Shack here. I also like that when I lived in New York City. Shake Shack is not a thing around these parts. Okay, castle. Mm, all right, I guess I'll just play to win the pawn back. Could play for an attack, but this seems better. Let's go here. Send this in. Attack and defend. Mm, he's got some nasty stuff here. Knight c4, knight g4. Ideas. I gotta watch knight e2. I need to kick him out. Okay, but I have some attacking ideas myself. If I can get coordinated. Wow, he's just sacking the exchange. No regard. Rook there. Good move, good move. Okay, I gotta run. Try for this. Trade this. This is a tricky position. I can take on b3. You didn't. It's good news for me. King is just wide open right now. No draw. No draw. Yes. Okay. Can't go for the draw there when you're up four seconds. And his king is also open. All right. See you, Danny. Good night. Good night to you. Oh. Hmm. Challenge failed. He joins, joined a match with someone else. He abandoned us. So I win the match 9-6. to six. That was a pretty sloppy match, though. I had to rely on the flag a lot. Okay, let's play this guy. Frost 1K. From Russia. Frost from Russia. It's intimidating. Playing something solid. Just trying to get the pieces out. Oh, I almost hung my bishop right there. I was very close to hanging my bishop, playing rook e1. Mm, okay, rook b1. 
I have some potential pressure against e7. Let's go here. Maybe knight coming in. Should probably play b6. Okay, let's go here since he's allowing it. It's kind of annoying to figure out where to put the queen here. Come back. I think next I'll try to take this file. He does have 94. 94 would be a good move right now. Uh, let's go here. It's pressure against this. I need to trade that knight off. Go attack that knight. Ah, oh, he can take here. He had the capture. Can I take this? I'll try it. Now I can maybe do this next. Mm, okay, I'll do it. Now this position's real nice. If rook a6, I have b5. So he's going to have to abandon the file. Check. Let's chase that knight now. Yeah, he's in some trouble here. A lot of his squares are being taken away. Give me that. He is fast, though. Work off seven. Ooh, what a sneaky guy. What a sneaky guy. Rook b7? If I took that, that was stalemate. You guys see that? Rook b7? Stalemate. Good pattern to know, and that's he's a good player. He spotted that real quickly. So fortunately, I had the wherewithal to play the check instead, and I was up a little bit on time. Oh, Santiago, you're playing a tournament tomorrow? Well, good luck. Good luck, sir. Hope you do well. Let us know how it goes. Yeah, very sneaky sneaky, right? These bullet players, man, they know their stuff. They know exactly what they're doing. Can't let your guard down. Not for a moment. Mm, okay, I'm going to go here. He clearly wants to play g5. And this is a, a weakening move by me, but... Probably still what I should do. Okay, I might get some counterplay here. Some queen b6 business. Um, okay, I'm going to take first. Plays g5 anyways. Okay, this is a sharp position now. Probably should just take on d5. I fear it's sharp and not in my favor. I'm just going to try to attack. But it shouldn't work out. Yeah, you can just take on c8. Takes on h5, okay. Try for a counterattack. Something. You can just take it. Go for queen a3 next. Doesn't do much. Mm, mate. Didn't notice. I'm trying to stalemate myself. too far down okay yeah the problem in that opening is that uh once he captures on g6 you're really in trouble messes up the structure like that there's almost no coming back from it prime time do you ever stream 960 matches well i did i did actually stream a 960 match against hammer real recently so that was a matter of days ago it was very interesting. You should definitely check it out. Um, okay, let's go here. 
So I'm up a pawn, but it's not a great pawn to be up because it's doubled. But I think I should be for choice in this position. I mean, extra pawns and extra pawn. Hmm. I'm going to go back. I know he can come in here. Doesn't even want to, though. Okay, let's go here. He's pretty active in this position. But I'll try to fight back. And now he can take on a2. Oh, queen there. It's a funny pre-move. Ooh, heard something. Get to that in a second, guys. Yeah, once again, I'm getting killed on the clock. Got to play for the attack. The counterattack. Eh, he's thwarting everything. Yeah, that's over. Rook's too passive now. Alec Gorshkov donates $10. Thanks for the stream, John. Thank you, Alec Gorshkov. Thanks for tuning in once again. Yeah, Chess Bay just linked the 960 match. It was a good one. It was a three-hour match. So it's a lot of fun. Yeah, Santiago. See you later. Thanks, Camel Clutcher. Let's go, John. Let's go, John. Boom, boom. Shh. Boom, boom. Shh. Okay, he is offline. How do I abort? I don't want to take his rating points like that. Okay, let's look for another game. I'll play that guy if he comes back online. Ooh, Winzy, he's back. Winzy is back. I'm going to continue with my same strategy of this. He did go bishop b5. He did not try that. He's going with the expansion strategy. Send this knight over. And I'll take that bishop if you want to give it to me. No. Okay, now this could be a problem because this knight is in some trouble. I'll just sack it. I'll just give it up. Mm hmm. That's a bit of a problem. Hopefully he won't notice this. He did. <laughs> All right, I'll take that one. Wait, what? Oh, he took there. Okay. Okay, I'm just playing for the attack right now. Um, this is tough. Let's try to connect things. Bishop d3, yikes. Yeah, that's a queen trap. Gotta resign. Good night, Potser to Master. We'll see you on the next stream, hopefully. Yeah, Winzy's out for blood. I mean, he's not messing around. <laughs> Unfortunately for him, I am messing around, and I'm managing to get some victories in. This position seems good. I'll try to put my bishop here to counter his bishop. I'm going to take with a pawn, as weird as that looks. And try for some h4, h5 business. Just attack his king flat out. Take this. And I want to get at that g6 pawn. He's playing good moves, though. Okay, next move. Well, maybe not knight h4. I don't know. I'll try this first. And then go here. I need to, like, get rid of... Yeah, get rid of his defender of the g6 pawn. This should be strong. Rook takes g6 coming. Yeah, he should just be in big trouble here. Check. He's trying to set up like a mating net of some sort. He's got to run soon. Let's go here. Try to stop him. Check. Check. And mate. Worked out in the end. Got the mating net. 
And just so fun to give up your king side like that. John's like that guy in The Princess Bride that was secretly sword fighting with his left hand. I don't know what that's in reference to, but... All right, Anton. You can't take this, dude. I have knight a5. Where's your queen going? Win Z, you of all people should know not to play that move. Because you move your queen early and often. Yep, there. Uh, you guys see that? Knight takes f7 and then resigns. That's the signature win Z. He knows he's in a losing position. Play the capture and then immediately resign. Oh, and again, he just bailed immediately. <laughs> All right, back into the pool looking for a game. GM AAG, the next opponent. Let's do it. Rating's taking a little bit of a hit, but I don't mind. I definitely don't mind. This is all for fun. Okay, let's play the knight into e5. Maybe queen f3. I can threaten to take here. Oh, I'm also threatening mate, by the way. That's helpful. Looking for some sort of knight takes b5 business. Can I try it now? It just takes. That's good timing on that capture. Okay. Um, okay, I'll just develop. Try to put this here to attack. Down a pawn, but I feel like I should have attacking chances against this king. I'll try to get some pieces kind of maneuvering that way. So we'll go here. Uh, Pat donated $10. Hey, John, can I be a mod? And I can play you in an Alakines. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I got to figure out how to get out of this mess, Pat. Thank you for the donation. And yes, you can absolutely be a mod. Pat is one of my students, by the way. And we recently played a couple standard games on chess.com. Okay, got to get some pieces up and into the fray. Not sure about that last move of mine. He's going to sack the exchange. Probably come over here. I mean, this is the only thing I've got going for me now. He stopped it. Please let me mate you on g7. That would be very accommodating. Oh, queen d8. I got him. Queen d8. Scandy swindle right there, guys. <laughs> Put a pawn on h6. Trap your opponent's king in. Good things happen. He was probably only looking at queen f6, queen g7, but the back rank, as Simon would say, the back spanker. I'll take that. I'll take that. Yeah, thanks again for the donation, Pat. Good to see you. Uh, let me mod you up here. Ooh, what was going on in that position after king takes? Okay, so... Yeah, he's still easily winning, of course. Maybe he should just play, you know, a sensible move. In the sober reality of non-time pressure chess, we can see that queen b4 with the idea of coming back to f8 and guarding that square should shut down any sort of counterplay that I have here. But, you know, in bullet, you're going to play the move out of inertia that makes the most sense. So he's like, okay, I'm going to mate you before you mate me, but queen d8. I just rematched him, but yeah, he's in a game. Everyone's kind of bailing at the first first attempt, but fortunately, there's lots of good players coming here. NTBT, DHS. Another Vietnamese player, quite high rating. Put that in your office and frame it. Yeah, I like that. No, being a mod is not $10. That's not bribery. That's just Pat being very generous. I know Pat, so, you know, I trust him. He would make a good mod. Like I said, we just played two standard games on my channel last Friday, and he also commentated on them as we played. So it was like a dual commentary. It was quite instructive. So if you have interest in the standard games in particular, support this. I would recommend going to watch them. Winzy, our buddy, he's back. And he's insisting on this opening. Okay, well, let's let's keep it going. 
Um, let's take here this time. And I think I want to get rid of that knight as soon as it lands on f5. So I'll play it this way. And maybe this right away. Guard this guy. Just want bishop c3 as soon as possible. Okay, guard the pawn. And now, get on the diagonal. Mm, okay, I'll give him the g5 pawn if he wants it. Put a little pressure there. Very sketchy pawn down situation. Well, not super sketchy. I've been in much sketchier positions this session. So I, I take that back. Um, this looks like a big knight to land here, but he has queen g4. I'd have to move right back. That's not good. Now he can just take on f1. Yeah, I'm going to be down material. Mm, okay. Take. Not a whole lot I can do here either. He's very solidly guarding uh, the g7 square. Yeah, that's over. Mm, dropped a piece. That one hurt. 11 to 8, the saga continues. I just like this way of developing most of the time. Kind of encouraging his pieces to come forward. I actually think I should take on f3, kind of like I was doing before. That would be smarter. Um, Yeah, let's do this again. I actually think those sack situations didn't work out so bad. I know this looks kind of crazy. But, hey, in a bullet game, it makes some sense. Because my king is very safe. I feel like his king is somewhat suspect here. He's underdeveloped. It's not the easiest position in the world to negotiate in bullet. Okay, let's dive in. He's got to play bishop a3 here. Hmm. Now he's got rook c1 on the way, though. Okay. And he can just take. Ah, but I have this move. It's a nice move. I totally saw that, guys. Bishop e3. That was my whole plan. <laughs> okay, now I want to win d3. Knight e5. Just trying to keep the pressure on. It's nice that his knight can't get involved in the action very easily. Uh, let's give it a check. Move faster, John. Queen f2, rook e1. Oh, he just gave up that, that piece there. Now I'm going to play for the attack for sure. So he has so little time. Or, sorry, I have so little time. Rook e1. Okay, well, it's going to be a close one here. Ah, yeah, I was too slow. Should have had that one. Should have had that when his king was wide open, his knight was unable to come out. I just didn't realize that I could actually simply um, take on a1 when he played his knight out. Yeah, that was there for the taking. Okay, knight f3. I've never seen this win Z guy beat someone, <laughs> says Baruki Roll. That's funny. Now, he's a good player. He's GM, obviously, you know, knows what he's doing. He's maybe had some bad luck against streamers. I mean, that sounds like a plausible theory. Okay, let's try to line up against these weaknesses. Can't move his knight, or at least there's limited squares he can move his knight to. He looks kind of weak around his king here. But my king's also kind of weak, unfortunately. I gotta bail out now. Try to run. 
I think I need to keep this light square bishop, at least for now. Can come down and take g2. Okay, I'll offer him a trade. He's not going to take it because he's killing me on the clock once again. Hang h8, please. He hung h8. Okay, that helps. May not win me the game, but it helps a lot. He's going to get a lot of pawns here. He's just going to march forward with his pawns. Oh, man. Oh. <laughs> he thought I would play a better move than I did. That worked out in my favor. Hey, Raze. Yeah, thanks for joining the stream. Come back again soon. Um, That's an annoying move. Yeah, and I'm going to sack that g7 pawn. And just play for an initiative. Get my pieces out quick. As quick as can be. Just attack him with my pawns. Take like that. Open lines. Open all the lines. Okay, take. H4 is a good move now. Yep. So you guys can see, I'm down a pawn in virtually every game. I'm really playing Reckless this session. Uh, in fact, let's just do that. No, it probably doesn't work out at all. Just trying to play for the initiative, and you can see it's backfiring sometimes. But got to take some risks in chess. Oh, that's not a good move. <laughs> okay, rematch. Okay, we got this line again. I'll play the main line, c4. This is much better than what I've previously been doing in this line, so we'll take it. Yeah, knight there. Okay, I'll go here. He'll probably retreat to f6, and then I'm going to castle. And taking is very dangerous because of rook e1. Probably unplayable. Oh, just as I say that, he's going to do it. He goes for it. Okay, check, and then take b7. That looks simplest. Hmm. Hard to believe he's going to survive this. Check. Take his knight. And we're crashing through. There we go. Hey, I played a qu high quality line and I won. Imagine that. Mm, okay, I'm going to take again. Now I'm going to do this. This is the key. You got to set up the counter fianchetto against this bishop. I said that, I think, right at the beginning of the match, that I had the most success this way, and then I stopped doing it, which is very foolish. So, yeah, counter fianchetto. The key. Hello. That's a triple fork. Queen takes d5. You guys see that? Queen takes d5. His calling card, his signature. Okay, that quick victory helps. Um, how often do you see a modern Benoni? Not too often. Osteo, I'd say in tournament games, playing d4, you might see it like once every 20 games, maybe. So yeah, it's it's comparatively rare. Although, I think perhaps an underrated opening. I had one in London, this game I played against Gary Quillen. So, you know, it happens occasionally. Okay, let's go here, attack the rook. I'm going to try to hit him with a5 if he puts the knight on b6. This looks kind of annoying for him. Um, okay, let's go here. He'll probably end up castling queenside. But maybe I can get some sort of attack. This queen here runs into this. He can take on a6. It's sort of an unclear situation. Um, all right. Let's try to line up some knight takes d6 stuff in the future, maybe. 
It's somewhat awkward for his queen, but I'm not doing a great job of exploiting it myself. Okay, let's go here. I can take on d5. Queen takes d5. That hurts. That's a painful one. Let's check. Again, just way down on time. Time, time, time. Try for some Hail Mary tactic here. Okay, he's got to watch out a little bit. Queen takes d6 coming. I have threats. Oh, not anymore. Yeah, that was bait. Okay, yeah, spoiled my position there. 14 to 11. Yeah, video on demand. So those are, you know, videos that will be in my archive. That's what a VOD is. Hmm, I'm going to stay solid. He's going to come forward. I'm going to play a suicidal looking move, but seem to be called for. Merc h1 and take on h5. He's going to do it. Yep. He's going to go for it. It's interesting in a match, like you start to notice your opponent's tendencies, their likes and dislikes. Happens a lot. Okay, run with my king a little bit. I think I still have a defensible position here. Uh, maybe not after that move. So he's going to get in knight takes e6. But that's not so clear. I might actually be okay there. Take, and I'm going to get down on d2. He has some rook g8 business at the end. But no, I think I'm good here. And I'm threatening queen a1 checkmate. Um, okay, take. It's queen. Maybe I didn't have to queen. I don't know. Okay, but now I'm just up a rook. Just a pure rook. Let's push this pawn next. Stop checking me. <laughs> rook, D, rook D6. That was an interesting sequence. I got lucky there that my E pawn was dangerous. Oh, that was a mouse slip by him. Oh, I got an interesting pawn structure now. That e6 pawn should be worth something, <laughs> cramping his position like that. Yeah, this looks very nasty. I want to go for a, almost a full clamp. I was tempted to play h6 there. But yeah, he sacks a piece to get out of this bind. Can't blame him. Um. Okay, I'm just going to try to encourage his pawns to come forward a little bit. So, a lot better here, for sure. Mm, let's just go here. Take this. Yeah, the clock is the only worrying thing, though, guys. Like, consistently, I'm just down on time. So I need to I need to fix that. Fortunately, has no queen f1. What was that move? King b7. Queen takes b2. Okay. Is he gonna take it? Yeah, he is. Okay. Eleven to sixteen. Thanks, Black Scott. Glad you're liking me on Twitch. Okay, let's check. Let's see if he'll move another pawn. He doesn't. Ugh, oh, disappointed. H4, though. H4 is coming. See, this position, like, has to be good. But it's it's amazing how he's able to do this. He's somehow able to twist these positions and muddy the waters enough to make it unclear. So he's going to go F5 here. 
but I'm going to go e4 and try to open things because when you have a dominating space advantage and a development advantage like that, you've got to open the position. It's almost mandatory. So you can see I'm just shoving my pawns as many lines as possible. I'm trying to open them up. Okay, now I think with bishop g3 as a threat, this should be very, very good. But you can see he's still like somehow holding together. Okay, let's go here. I'm looking for this now. Probably will take it. He really lets me check. I'm surprised by that. Now I've got all these discoveries. Uh huh. This guy. <laughs> this guy. Check. And mate. Queen f4 mate. Some queen knight combination right there. Okay. Yeah, Z Nation. People have been asking about that, the sub button. It'll happen soon. Briak, I've got my Starbucks right here, man. No worries. Don't you fret. It's right here for you. That's not a good idea by him, just kind of letting me get my bishop here. At least I don't think that's a good idea. That seems very suspect. Okay, let's go here. I want to attack down the H file. You guys saw me do this plan before. I'm going to kind of do what he does. Just open lines. All the lines. Okay, that knight coming to e5, though, is annoying. Um, all right. This didn't work out like I would like it to. What? Wow. Okay, that was not one of his signature ideas. Because that was actual legitimately brilliant move. Queen takes c4 if I take knight e5. Wow. Win z, man. I mean, that's just... That's just great. <laughs> that was really nice. That might be the move of the match. So far. Okay. I'm trying to get my knight somewhere decent. This is just trading down into a terrible end game. Yeah, I'll give him that one. That's a good game. Queen takes c4 was just brilliant. John, do you plan on sleeping tonight? Yeah, I will. It's only 12.30, and I don't have much going on tomorrow. So, figured a stream was a good idea. Okay, so again, we're playing this line. Knight h4, he likes that stuff. I think with this in play. Okay, this kind of transposes to what we were doing before. And I'm going to go with the same sack. And I know this looks outwardly just very bad for me. But I like the sort of position it's producing. Lots of tactical chances. Centralize. And maybe I could have taken on C2 there, I don't know. Okay, let's go e5. I mean, this position just looks so ugly for white. That's why I'm attracted to it. Even though he's up material, it's like, at what cost? Um, go here. Okay, let's take that. Some... Bishop takes h3 or bishop g3 business. Mm. Not sure what's happening here. Probably nothing good for me. Chances, though. Yeah, it's awkward for him. He's going to put his rook on b5. Yep. Some checks around his king, maybe. Run. <laughs> Young as queen. Oh, 
almost stalemate, and he had point four left. He played queen e4. That was funny. <laughs> Freezing cold watching your stream on my phone while waiting for the bus. Oh, hey, Saxy. Good to see you here. Yeah, thanks for watching. Must be early morning in Norway, huh? Okay, let's go here. Maybe some ideas like that if he castles. Now I'll just try to develop, get this knight here. Um, I'll go here. I know he can play c4, but his queen is looking almost trapped. It's that move. Okay, I don't want your, I don't want you to be able to take on f4. So let's do this. Okay. Highly unclear stuff going on. Hmm, is this knight trapped? Looks like it. So he sacks the exchange. He did succeed in doing that. Ooh, knight d5 though is nice. I think that's a helpful move to get in. And I just need to attack him somehow. I'm going to try for this. And then this. This is an interesting idea. Get at this pawn. Because if e7 comes crashing down, then his whole position crashes. Now rook d8. Check. Yeah, and I'm going to mate him on f8. Okay, so I got there first in that game. We're doing the same thing every single game here, but this is, this is how I best know to combat him. So I'll play g6 this time instead of that bishop g4 stuff. Um, okay, let's just bring this out. And if he wants to take, he can. I'll give him a pawn over here. But I don't think he's going to. Knight g3, does that work? Let's actually try knight g3. Crazy looking move. Uh, probably knight b5 was a good reply. Knight b5 there. Um, hmm. Can I try this? And then I want to take. Because then I win his knight next. And I feel like something good must happen here. Check. Bishop h6. And I'm going to win his queen. No, I'm not. He's escaping. Ugh. Almost. Still good, though. Still very good. But faster, John. Much faster. Got to push this. I gave him that pawn. I didn't have to do that. Mm. Oh, this guy is so sneaky, man. Rook h8, he just always throws that in. I don't know if he had to do that. He had 10 seconds versus my 27. I wouldn't have done that if I were him. Alpha says, good night. Whenever the Minneapolis fan meet meetups, I will be there. Cool. Good. Yeah, let's keep in touch. You're the one from Brooklyn Center, right? So let's keep in touch. Okay, castle. Let's stop b5. Hey, Peter. Cool. Glad you like those videos. Good to hear. Okay, so I'm hoping this pawn on e6 just hinders his play. For the moment, it looks like that's going to be real annoying for him. Go here, attack this pawn. And that's a piece. Okay, stringing together some wins, 20 to 13. And let's just stick to the prescription, g6, bishop, g7. Because he's always throwing the pawn. Pawn's always getting tossed down the board. Okay, this time he's going to take it. Fair enough. Develop an attack. Okay, guard this. So, down a pawn again, but compensation. I think this time clear compensation. This is not a simple position for him to play. Try to attack that pin knight several times. Let 
you go back here. Okay, mm I don't want his knight jumping in there so easily. Take that. Let's go here. I'm looking for some threats like this. Might take on e6, that would be in keeping with his style. Now I gotta go here because I have to stop him from playing e6. That's a nice sturdy move actually. And hopefully it buys me enough time to win his pawns. Oops, I meant to go to another square there. Did not mean to do that one. Check. Okay, I'm almost back over 2,700. Yeah, Pat Benjamin, I'm just playing one minute right now. And do I stream regularly, asked Krograt. I'm going to try to, yes. I've got a lot of stuff going on, going on coming up, but um, I'm definitely going to try to stream regularly, yes. What's that move? Okay, he seems like he's on a bit of tilt right now. Let's try to capitalize. Thanks, Anish. <laughs> Yeah, he's definitely feeling some tilt. Can I get him with the same trap? This still traps the queen. Oh, no, it doesn't. Never mind. That was my mistake. Okay. So I got to do this. Now he's probably doing pretty well, but it's a position. I've got a lead in development. Bishop d3 is going to play. Okay, attack. Take this guy. Let's guard him. Uh, try to set up some discoveries. This is kind of annoying, though, because I want to play e4. But he's being stubborn. He can just go back to f3 now. I'll give him this pawn when I get here. I need to create some threats. You can just take it, yeah. Bishop takes a3, some stuff. I don't know. I don't have much here. Not much to do. He's trying, though. That knight is trapped. I got a chance. I can do this. Take. This king is weak. It's not trade queens. Oh, that was a terrible move on my part. I don't know why I played rook c8 there. That was absolutely awful. Oh, so slow too. Okay, he's gonna win my last pawn. Ooh, okay. Yeah, he, he outplayed me that one. I thought queen takes, queen takes b7 was running into the knight a5 queen trap, but it wasn't to be. I'm only on one norm, red zone Nova. Yeah, one GM norm. Okay, let's play this line again. This worked out really well the one time I played it. Do I ever go fishing? No. Not a fisherman. I think I'd like to be, though. Seems like a good lifestyle. You know, the fisherman lifestyle. Okay, this looks absolutely awful for him. Okay. He maybe could have played knight c6 there instead of bishop takes f3, but he knew stuff was crashing down on the diagonal. I'll take that one. Yeah, I scored um, real real well in this recent tournament, but just wasn't quite there. I needed to win in the final game to get to 6.5 out of 9, which was the norm requirement for that tournament, and I just ended up drawing. 
Hey, John, never caught your YouTube streams, but now you're on Twitch. I'm sure I'll watch plenty. Also love your videos. Thanks. Thanks, Shivers. Okay, go here. Deep sea fishing. Yeah, you want to take me deep sea fishing? So I would not mind that. Okay, let's block his bishop. I gotta play. I gotta play this move. It's begging to be played. Hmm. Mm. It's a good reply. Bishop a3 keeps everything closed. Okay, go win this rook. Some e5 business, maybe? I could just take it. Try to open the lines. Not much going on here. Oh man, knight f6. Yikes. This is not good. My king is very suspect in this position. My only chance is to attack his weaknesses. But it's a slim chance. Okay, I'll take that. Oh, you can just push that. Yikes. I have one second. All right. Time to throw in the towel there. Grow a motivation beard. What does a motivation beard look like? Oh, and Winzy's playing my opening. I forgot that he plays the Scandi. Yeah, he's not above going into the Scandi. And what is this line? Okay. So my king safety is going to get pretty damaged here. But let's see what we can do with this position. This is a very typical Winzy opening, I think. I'm going to do this and try to attack this pawn. Ah, but queen f6, yeah, that's a good resource. I'll give him d4. Hmm. Yeah, this could be dangerous for him. Feels like it should be. Check. He may somehow survive. But it looks highly suspect. Let's keep this on. Hmm. This is a nice move. If he takes, I go here, and I win his queen. Rook d8. Get this. Just take that. Should be mate. Yeah. Oh no, not quite. Pick up his rook though. Actually, this is checkmate next move. Hmm, that was a fun one. Rook d8. Rook d8 landed, and it worked out well. All right, I mouse slipped. I put the pawn on d6, but it gives us a chance to try a new opening. Let's play e5 here. It's kind of interesting. Just try to block his bishop right from the get go. Hmm. Now I'll go here. He might still play h5. He doesn't. Okay. Only thing is the h pawn's a little hard to guard in this in this case. Okay, let's take that. Send the knight in here. Bishop c4 looks natural. Or knight there. But as long as I guard eight. This square, I should be fine. That I didn't see, though. Oh, man. That's a good move. Okay. Problem is that bishop's going to come on c4 soon. Like any moment now. Yeah, bishop c4. Just try something. Yeah, okay. 
So my rating is slowly, slowly going down. But it's tough when you're playing an opponent like this. You can see even though I'm winning the match, it doesn't matter much. Okay, let's go here. I'll let him take the center, and then I'll try to attack it flank style like he does. Let's actually do this. If he takes, I'm going to trade into this endgame. You go here. I want to win this pawn. Try to get it back somehow. This has turned into a long match. Guard this guy. Thanks to those of you who have stuck around throughout this match. Mm, I don't know about that last move of mine. E4 seems wrong somehow. Okay, keep going forward. Mm, try to open up a different wing. Not sure C5 even helps me much. Really? Okay. Let's go here. This looks interesting. I'm going to sack a piece, or try to. Oh, he can... Yeah, because he can actually just check. No, bishop h3. Yeah. Okay. Time to focus. I'm watching these games and feel like I'm in Groundhog Day. Yeah, it's because of the openings. Both of us are pretty stubborn in the openings. And I think at this point I've decided to stick with g6, bishop g7. It just works the best against him. Against his style. Let's go e5. Take that. Okay, this here. Just common sense moves. This pawn needs to be pushed. Double. Might be giving him a target, but yeah, he didn't make use of it. I think I can put this rook in on f2. That should be pretty annoying. Attack c2. Let's take here. I might have some funny business on the long diagonal. I right, can just take. Just take on d4. Bummer. Yeah. Error. Error on my part. I'll still play it out, I guess. Wants to walk up with his king. I don't really want to take on d3, actually. I feel like somehow that gives him chances if I do. But my knight can't go anywhere at the same time. It's very annoying. Okay, he hung that. Unnecessarily. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, that wasn't looking good. As a European, I didn't see much of the match since it's super early here. What time is it where you stream from? So it's approaching 1 o'clock a.m. my time. Yeah. So pretty late. But not excessively late. I mean, this is pretty standard for me. Okay, so we get this again. I think I was going here, and then I was sticking the knight on uh, f4 eventually. Like so. And I think I was going here. Again, repetition of our previous games. I felt like this worked out very well for me last time, though. Um, let's take here immediately. He's going to take on f4. I'll take. 
I think I'll take here this time. So he might have to trade queens immediately against this. Like queen e5 coming up. Yeah, he does. Okay, let's go here. I can't believe I only have 19 seconds left. That's shameful. <laughs> I have a good position, but only 19 seconds. Okay, rook f7 is a threat. Got to pre-move this. Watch him for the tricks. He's known to be a trickster here. Yeah, he's got he's up too much time. Can't expect to win like this, John. Yeah, too much time. Okay, so I've lost a few games now. Got to get back on the winning path. John, can you share your thoughts on the Blizzard match today? Congrats on leading the league. Yeah, the Blizzard match went well. We uh, So we won the match 8.5, 7.5. And, and, and Andrew Tang performed well. He scored three wins, one loss. So that was good to see him get some points. Daniel Gurvich has also been great for our team. He scored two and a half today. So all around, those guys stepped up. Sean and I were lagging a bit. Uh, not lagging, like our computers were lagging. Like we're lagging behind our other high-producing teammates. So we scored one and a half each. But we had a very big round in the very first game. We scored three and a half in the very first one. So that set us on the winning path. They had to dig their way out of a three-point hole. That's pretty tough. Okay, so I'm up a piece here. Let's focus and try to win this game. Because I would not like to blow this one. Let's go here. Sticking that bishop in looks real annoying for him. Go after that. Okay, and this is straight winning now. All right, so I got that one. Can't wait for the John emotes. Yeah, me too. Got to stream a bit more. Let's try to get him into a Smith Mora. He gladly goes into it. He does not mind. Okay, let's play a4. Knight d5. Open the position. I'm not sure I'm getting the compensation I want here. Queen c7 looks pretty good in this position. Yeah, that's annoying. I gotta go back here. Now he could take on f3 if he wants. I'm not sure I actually mind if he takes on h2, because at least I get some potential open lines against his king. Um, okay, put this out here. Try to harass his bishop a little bit. I need more pieces in the attack. Guess I'll take that. I think I almost have to play an end game. I'll gladly take a draw if he wants, but I don't think that's what he's going for. This knight is such a strong piece here. It's very, very annoying. I'm just going to try to trade the queens, I guess. OK, 
Okay, he's trying to stabilize. Oh, Rook F2. <laughs> he got me with Rook F2. <laughs> what happened to your rating? Yeah, I've been taking a few hits. I've been playing Win Z in this match is probably not best for my rating. But I'm okay with it. He's definitely speeding up. Yeah, he's playing faster. He's determined. I think I don't mind if he takes here. He routinely goes for that, and I don't think I should care about it too much. Let's go back. This looks dangerous for him. But then again, I've said that often, and things haven't worked out like that. <laughs> but with the weakness of e3, I mean, he seems hard-pressed to hold here. Knight d4? No? Okay. Just double. Mm, okay, go here. Hmm. Okay, I'll take. Got some nice bishops in this position. Try to win my exchange back. Looks like I'll succeed. Maybe b6. I want to get this going. This move didn't do anything because my bishop guards that square. Yeah. Ooh, I don't know if that was so clear at the end because he can play bishop d4 and pin my rook. Probably winning still, but I'm not sure that was the best for him. Okay, let's, let's do this Smith Mora thing again. I feel like this is just wrong for him. Because allowing e5 the way he is typically is just bad. Probably play e6 now. Okay, this is just elementary stuff. Bishop takes f7. I mean, it probably isn't terrible for him. But I'm pretty happy here. It's going to be a struggle for him to get castled. Mm. Okay, let's go here. Might win a pawn, but he's going to get castled, it looks like. Knight d5. It's a helpful... Oh, no. Knight d5, he could have just taken that. That was bad on my part. <laughs> just take it my queen was under attack whoops this is some sloppy chess now guys that was a nice move that I just played I'm trying to get him to take Take here. Double. He's now he's got to be careful. Oh, I had mate. It's a bummer. Oh man, now he's got the perpetual. This is not going to work for me. Yeah. I had mate there. I miss mate. <laughs> what is in the room in your background? That's my king trophy. And also there's uh, just a lamp out there that I think is currently lit. But yeah, that's a trophy. Okay, let's go here. This is getting to be a long match. Yeah, I had made at least twice there. Uh, 
Knight d3, nah, let's go here. Good night, Chespe. See you later. F4. Nope, didn't play it. Just going to go for maybe h4 at some point. Unclear. Hmm. Really want to open the position again. Let's do it. He keeps it closed. Knight c4, yep. I think I should play this move. Okay, check. Okay, this pawn's rolling through. Promote. Oh, I couldn't promote in time. Didn't quite get it. Yeah, he's really picking up the speed. Thoughts on the PCL? It's been good. I mean, certainly it's been good for our team. Yeah, we're 3-0. and So, yeah, I, I think for us, things have been going great. I think the new website is very good. So that's been a good change that they've implemented. So, all in all, I'm very, very happy with it. There's wall-to-wall -wall coverage on PCL days. You know, people are streaming for 14 hours. It's great. Okay, keep pushing this pawn. I think I'll take that. Takes with a pawn, wow. Okay, let's go here. So this knight is gonna be pinned, at least temporarily. Let's go queen h5. And something happened. Thor X, you donated another $100? Dude. And just like that, I got a fork. You must be really good luck, man. Thank you so much. You've been very generous today. I really, really appreciate it. Uh, again, Thor, you were just amazing luck. Things turned around in that game just right away as soon as you donated, so <laughs> thanks a lot. Okay, let's play g6 and bishop g7. Welcome to Twitch, says Black Scott. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, we have a very balanced team. That's right. Whoever said that we're pretty equal all around. Like the lineup we fielded today, there wasn't that big of a difference between our first and last boards, rating-wise. Andrew Tang is definitely our leader in terms of rating. But um, yeah, we've got a nice, nice, solid, balanced lineup. Okay, so I'm looking to get some Knight G3 business going. Let's go here. Kick that knight away first. Mm, don't really want to allow him to take it, so I think I should go here. Let's go e5. Threaten e4. Yeah, he always just plays the most provocative move possible. He's very consistent with that. Take. Can I take? I think I can. This is covered. What I can't do is continue playing slow, though, and drop pieces. Let's get something going here. Some desperate counterattack, but it might work. Knight d4. Now you can take. Mm. 
Okay, run the H pawn. Okay, we're both playing very fast here. Yeah. Checkmate. Tang is about 40 points higher feet A, right. So we don't have, we're not fielding lineups right now where we have just a totally low board four and then try to stack the top three. That's not really our strategy. We're going with pretty balanced. Like Sean Nagel, he went four out of four just um, the other week. So that's an indicator of our strategy right there. Um, let's go here. I could also just have taken and played it like a gambit, which I probably should have in retrospect. But I have some open line potential here. Let's go here. I'm going to try to put this like this. Or maybe go knight e6. Looks a little annoying for him. Go here. Probably puts his knight in on c4. Let's go back. I don't want to. I want to attack. Even though the queen the queens are off the board, I still want to push on the king side. Create some threats. Yeah, that might be the surprise of the league, us starting three and zero. Like that's that's big. Okay, still trying to push over here. Okay, with bishop f7 coming in, I can create some mating nets. I can think about it. Ooh, do I have some ideas here? Let's go like this. This looks very close to mate. Mm. Nah, that wasn't good. That was not good. I didn't want to lose my bishop on f4. That's why I played it like that. And this pawn's coming. Yeah, that's too tough. He's got too many threats against my king. I almost got through on the king side. Didn't quite have it. This is turning into a real tough match. 27-24. Yeah, I mean, to give him credit, he was doing pretty poorly at the start of this match, but he's he's turned it around. So, yeah, he's not going to lie down. Let's take that. I'm going to go here and try to attack the pawn. This actually looks like the most normal position we've had the entire match. <laughs> C5 is now an idea. Maybe. Mm, let's go b6. Just seeing like if rook a4, I want to have a space to move my queen to. Okay, do this. Not 100% sure about my position now. Okay. Takes that pawn. E6 was a nice pawn. But maybe if I badger through here, I can get something. Because now can I take here? I think so. Let's go here. I right, can just check. Bummer. I still have threats, though. Let's go here. Let's play for the win. Back ranker. All right, got that one. I really wanted to win that game. Penguin told me you guys weren't even planning on a postseason, but look where you guys are. Yeah, based on the the preseason numbers, if you would have said that I, we were three and zero going into week four, I would not have believed you. That's crazy. Okay, playing another Smith Mora. It's Castle. 
I think this is how you want to play it. Um, that's a good reply, though. So now he's got the d4 square. The very annoying d4 square. At least I get that move in with tempo, but still should be nice for him. Okay, I'll play g4. So down a pawn, but seemingly with compensation. I think I'm going to go f3. Badgered, someone said. Ecstatic broccoli. Is that like honey badgered? He's maneuvering. He wants the d4 square himself. I'm going to sack the exchange. Didn't really see a viable alternative. That's a knight. You can't let that knight like stick around there. Wow, he's just going to sack that. Okay, I guess I'll take. I think that was a time decision, what he just did there. This is a race now. Looks like his pawns will be quite fast, though. Okay. Let's push this B pawn now. Ooh, and I'm going to promote. I got you. I got you, Win Z. We won that race. I think if he would have pushed his H pawn, he would have won that easily, though. See if he'll take here. He does. Okay, let's try a slightly different setup this time. Let's go here. Put the queen on d6. Still going to castle short, though. Because I feel like that's appropriate. Let's offer a queen trade. Yeah, those last second tricky sacks. That's right. Go here. If he takes it, I can take on d2. If knight b1, knight b1 was interesting, but I think I had bishop b2. Okay, this position should be acceptable. I think I can take that. Useful pawn. Let's bring this back. Take, and then take on c5. Very helpful. And there you have it, rook takes c4. Which team is up next for the Blizzard? Yeah, so we play on Saturday. The way it works is you play uh, 10 games, 10 games total, and you play everyone on the opposing team on the same board as you, if that makes sense. So like I'll be, I think, board three. And I'll be playing the other board threes in those 10 games. Let's see if I can capitalize on this attack. Castle now. And when is queen looks best? I'll just pull this back here. So that's an interesting format. And then the points get assigned according to your team total. If you hit a certain number of points, you get one point. The team does. And if you don't hit that point total, you get zero. You get nothing. Let's take that. You get nothing. You lose. Good day, sir. Just like Willy Wonka. Mm, I got this coming up. This threat down here. Probably has to play h5 or something. Does. Still, that's a big threat, though. Rook e8. So he bails out. Yeah, this is just winning. Provided I don't botch this. I'm going to guard against the d4 stuff. Kind of making a mess of this, though. Definitely making a mess of it now. Rook c5. No rook c5. OK, 
Okay, he's got lots of technical stuff to deal with, though, especially with the clock. Just don't blunder your queen, John. Oh, I had his rook there. Rook capture, anyone? Yeah. Okay. So, I think I should have won that smoother with the queen, but I'll take it. Rook d8 check would have won the bishop. Okay. I guess I don't have uptime programmed on Mubot. I'll have to do that. Okay, let's go here this time. I think I've been taking on c4 and releasing the tension a little early, maybe? So let's make a minor adjustment. Mm, go here. A4, I'll try to keep this closed. And now I think I have to attack on the king side. Seems like the only way. All right, I'll take that. Go over here. Problem for me is the tension favors him. At some point, he can uh, attempt to take on b5. And that's annoying. That's very annoying, actually. Okay, now I'm hitting e3. He might sack on d5, knowing him. Or there. <laughs> I was going to say, not outside the realm of possibility with win z. This guy loves to sack. He does it at the first available opportunity, it seems to me, oftentimes. Hopefully he won't notice queen e3. Got some mate stuff lurking. How does he defend the back rank? Um, go in. Man, that's annoying. Those defensive moves. Ah, John. Move faster, John. <sighs> oh, I thought I was going to mate him there. I really thought I was going to get him. Hmm. I never know what to do with these structures when white pushes past with c5. Yeah, structurally, I'd prefer to be white there too. I can totally sympathize. Ah, I walked into this again. Okay, now I got to do something a little awkward to guard this, this pawn. It's not the end of the world, but it's not ideal either. Okay, let's go here. He's playing aggressive, as he should, I think. Mm, did he just blunder? I think he blundered. I think he's going to lose this bishop now. Here comes resigns. Yep. Okay, I think I'll play just a little longer, and then... You know, hang out for a second. You guys have been great viewers tonight. Thor, those couple donations, man, you just made my night. It's been a great welcome to Twitch stream. Oh, you can take an E5. I've been trying my best to keep an eye on the chat. I will get better at this over time, I promise. John could use a bit of Win Z, and he could use a bit of you. <laughs> Uh, let's castle here. He's probably going to take. So my king looks pretty weak. Winzy has no fear. You know, mortals, if they push all these pawns, they might be a little worried about their king safety. He's like, eh, whatever. <laughs> Who cares? Uh, take check, and then I think I can take your next move. This is nice. If I could get back over 2700, that would be a nice way to end things. But in general, I'm not too, uh, you know, picky about. He's going to go queen f6, isn't he? Oh. <laughs> that was a bad decision. Fortunately, I can still go here. 
in general, I was going to say I'm not too attached to ratings. I try not to put too much value on them. Now, I think he'll have to take that. He does. Okay, let's just do this. Both have some potential weaknesses here. My queen side's looking a little, little gross. But also, he's, you know, got some stuff himself to worry about. I'm just going to hide the king. Can probably take on h3. Okay, now f7 is under attack. Stick this there. I'll take. If he takes here, I wonder if I can play c3. I'm going to try to bait him into doing that. Got him. That's a nice fork. Go here. That's satisfying when you get a trap like that. Just c3. It's a weird pattern because the rook is usually not on the third rank like that. So I think people are more likely to fall for something along those lines. Dead to right says, good job in today's match. That draw against the Wander was clutch. Yeah, as it turned out, that draw was clutch. Thanks. I appreciate you saying that. I think I underperformed a little bit. I definitely want to pick it up for the league or for the for the team. And the league too, but mostly the team. <laughs> but yeah, like I was saying, we've got a real solid roster. We can field some balanced lineups that I think give us chances in every match. So hopefully we can exploit that. We got a nice deep team. Take this. Yeah, don't think I'm getting trapped here. Got some check ideas on the back rank. Um, can I just check and try to win his rook? He has, could play bishop f1 there. Kind of surprised he didn't do that. Okay, let's take. Mm. Mm, I don't know about that decision I just made. Should have close to a winning position here, but time's a bit of a problem. Okay, got the win. I followed your matches pretty closely. You were better in most middle games, but just came undone after a move or two in time pressure. Yes, you guys know I've been working on time pressure a lot, and I didn't succeed in avoiding time pressure in this match, unfortunately. Yeah, like the game against Shabalov. I was plus six or something according to the computer and just just messed it up at the end. In fairness though, I kind of swindled a wander too. I, I should have lost that game. So it does tend to balance out. But gotta work on the time management, even in these fifteen plus two games, it's important. Well, especially in these fifteen plus two, I should say. Okay, let's try to attack him over here. Shaba is always super dangerous. Hundred percent agree. Yeah, he's one of the most dangerous guys out there when it comes to um, creating chances. Okay, I'll take that. You know, let's check. I'm just going to try to push the attack. Maybe go after this rook. I'm not going to get mated here ever, so this is fine. Take this knight. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Ah, did it again. <laughs> Rematch. Pat says, did you watch my commentary by chance? No. Did you do commentary? I know you said you might. Commentary on the match. So no, sorry, I didn't get a chance to look at that. If you want to feel better about your games, you can go back and watch Eric and Amon both blunder rooks in a span of 15 seconds. Yeah, I heard that on the coverage. That's too bad. It's too bad for the chess bras. Um, kind of put myself in a pickle here with what I just did. Can I even get out of this? This is already really bad. I don't think I can even get out of this situation. He's just gonna check here. But okay, if he checks, uh, okay. Now I just gotta play fast because I burned a lot of time right there. This is suddenly very good for me. 
go take that rook, take your jump. <laughs> I can't find a move. <laughs> He's just running with his pawn. Oh wait, I shouldn't do that. I might have had bishop f5. I'm threatening queen g3 mate. He has to walk a tightrope here. Oh, knight f7. Knight f7. Ugh. Oh. I wonder if I had checkmate there. That was pretty close. Put myself in a pickle has to be a weird idiom for non-native speakers. Yeah, you're right about that. It's a pretty funny saying. Um, I'll take again. I think this works out well for me. I feel it should. He really wants to gambit. Okay, if you insist. Mm, let's go here. Now I should just castle short and enjoy this almost certainly winning position. I wanna go B4 and then B5. Okay, that's annoying though. It's looking for knight B3 stuff. Yeah, he's being feisty. Creating problems. Ninety six coming. Uh, I don't know about this, though. This is tough. This is tough to evaluate. Don't think he had to do that. I'm surprised by that decision. I'm just trying to find something to do here with my knights. They're very clumsy, aren't they? Oh, man. Ah, draw. <laughs> I was intentionally trying to move faster there, looking not to flag. Marathon match, guys. 36 and a half, 26 and a half. Pat Benjamin, good night to you. Okay, I think it's best if I do this. Put the bishop here. Probably put this bishop here to guard f4. After much experimentation, that's how I've decided to play it. I'm going to take here this time. Send the queen out. And thanks, Dead to Rights, too. Just saw your message. Let's come in here. If he plays rook c3, I think I'll back the queen up. He wants to cut that bishop off. Okay. Ah, oh, yeah, you guys are talking about our game. Me and Pat. Yep. Skewered. Okay, this is good. Let's go here. I'm gonna. I'm willing to trade the A pawn for the B pawn because I've got this idea in mind. Yeah, now he's back ranked. Yeah, Pat, I know I said that in the videos, but you played really well for someone who was recording commentary against an IM for the first time. Like, seriously, I'm not... Just saying that to, you know, pump you up. You did really well. Like, that's not an easy, easy thing to do. So I'm up a pawn in this position. He's got some some compensation. 
I got development issues here. Um, I don't know what to do here, actually. I'll play f4. I gotta keep his knights out at bay. It's not easy. He's looking for queen g2. Probably just take my h-pawn, maybe run his h-pawn. It's pretty tough to deal with. As you see how passive I am here, I need several moves to threaten anything. And in the meantime, he can create threats. So I'm just looking to do something. Some sort of counterplay. Some queen f5 business. Okay, I'll go here. At least that might force a queen trade. Okay, let's go here. If I could play f4, I'm in good shape. Wow, he actually took that. It's surprising. Stick that there. Knight d5, if I get a chance. Go here. Okay, this is tough. Oh, he has rook g2. Gross move and good move. That was nicely played. Yeah. Spotting Rook G2 was good. John, check out my clip of my teacher Sam. He confesses feelings for you. Okay, I'll check that out later. Hi, John. This is Guys, right? <laughs> uh, Lord Ulrich, are you streaming a lot on a regular basis? Yeah, that's the goal. Definitely. So look for that. Pat's going to go cry, he says. Tears of happiness, right? I'm sure. Okay, let's take... I'm going to castle. He can take here now, but I'm going to get an initiative, I feel. Take that. Let's trade off that annoying knight. Apon. Apon danger. Hmm. This must be bad for him. Okay, let's go here. I want queen e4. Give me queen e4. There's also the check on a2 whenever I need it. Um, this is good. He can't take e4 because I take b2 with check. Take here. Okay, this is just winning now. He's going to try to flag me. Okay, and we win. Please play 1e4. Yes, I will do that. And he's playing the Elephant Gambit. There's some sharp stuff going on here that I'm not fully aware of. I saw your game against Rui Fang. Good stuff. Oh, thank you. Talking about my game against Rui Fang from um, the UT Dallas Fall Fide Open. The UTD Fall Fide Open. Play take D5, yeah. Yeah, that was a game that didn't get published, but um, it was a close Sicilian. I was black. Very happy to get a win against a player like him as black in the first round. Fortunately, my tournament went south after that, but that was a good start. This is not a good start. I have some pressure against f7. Maybe some chances. Ah, uh, but he's defending. He's holding everything. Knight d5. Yeah. I'm not going to take on b7. 
I'll try to get on the H file, I think, now. Can take here, can't he? Maybe. Mm hmm. He sees all the tactics. I think this is going to be Win Z's game. He's up a lot of pawns. Doubt I'm going to come back from this one. Maybe I can catch him on a pre-move or something. When you go passive like this, it's never good. Definitely not good. And that's never a good pre-move either, trying to catch someone because it takes two two moves for me to threaten something. Okay, here I have a stalemate if, he, if he's not careful. Oh, I got the draw. He missed checkmate and won a couple times there. He had queen f1 mate. Almost resigned that when my rooks had to go passive. Okay, so e4 worked out all right, Pat. You know everyone loves you, but do you think you got some backlash for your win against Prognananda for preventing him from becoming youngest GM of all time? No, not at all. I know you're probably asking that jokingly. Um, and he needs two norms, not one. So he he wasn't like, I spoiled his last GM norm and took all the potential record records away from him. No, it wasn't like that. Let's go here. If he goes d4, I think checking is good, but I no, actually I want to go here. Keep my bishop back. Take here. Take there. Looks really good. Now let's try that. Knight takes c2 coming up, because then I can take here. And there you go. <laughs> Queen takes e6. Thanks, Pigeon Knuckles. Yeah, I played a good game against Prognananda. It was a solid one. Yeah, my pleasure, Ulrich. I hope you'll stick around too. Follow my stream. Okay, uh, I probably should go here. And again, I end up with this queen on c1. I'm not happy about that. This line is a bit of a problem, isn't it? He gets, he's getting the initiative out of this line. Oh, knight takes e3, that's nasty. He saw that right away. Ugh, that's a gross one. Oh man, okay, I'm gonna resign that. That's that's over. That's one of those moves there's just no coming back from. I didn't even see a swindling chance there. He's threatening so many discoveries. Seth Raman destroyed Prague's record chances yesterday. Ah, you mean in Gibraltar. I see. Yeah, Prognananda will get there. I kind of wish, you know, for his sake that there wasn't so much pressure on him. He is only 12 years old. But, you know, I understand where that comes from. There's a lot of expectations. Especially in the Indian chess community, they want him to, you know, be the next um, the next big player, really. He has f4 here, but I'm going to sack. Sack on g4 and get some pawns for this. King f3, yep. This is just par for the course when you're playing Winzy. His king on f3, you know. <laughs> hmm. Okay. This is double-edged position. He's probably better. I don't think I have enough compensation, but he's going to have to get through my king side pawns. I'm going to try to pivot and go attack this. Not sure why he played c4. That seems like an odd move to me. Okay, take it. Ah. Hmm. Okay, get some pawns. Not enough. Yeah. Good game. My rating keeps tumbling. It's tough. Let's play a gambit. I seem to do well when I play gambits against him. 
and try to take the initiative. So, oh, wow. He just hung his queen. You guys see that? Queen h4? I actually didn't even notice it. I was instinctively going to move bishop d3 and defend my e-pawn. <laughs> so, he would have been better off uh, not resigning there immediately. We're, what, 71 moves deep? Or 71 games deep in this match? He would have been better off not resigning. This opening just looks so good for me. Take. I mean, there's so many weaknesses. He's already moved his, his pawns around so much. But as we've seen, he finds some way to come back in these positions. Let's just attack the weakness. Um, okay, take. He's going to win d5 via this line, but... Or he'll win a piece. But I'm going to attack. Just as I've been doing. Knight d5, got to watch out for that. Let's guard that square. Prevent anything bad happening. It is nice that his king has already moved, I and mean, that should help me. Probably d5. Oh, now bishop g3 is a huge threat, though. Bishop g3. Mm. Gotta crash through somehow here. Bishop f3 coming. Where's my mate? Okay, this is a nice move. And I'm going to get the mate. Bishop here. Ooh. That worked out, but it, uh, it was doubtful whether that was going to actually pan out. Mentos Fruit Core says, good morning from Sweden. Yeah, good morning to you too. This works out pretty well, right? Get to catch a morning stream. As you can see from the score here, 42 to 30, we're deep in a match right now. Me and Win Z going at it. Okay. Remember, remember the sack on the pawn. In this position, it's not a threat, but it very well could be. Okay, I might get castled. I might succeed in castling here. H3. He goes H4, I can take, I think. Take, 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 take. Yeah, I'm going to do it. He's going to sack his rook. No, he doesn't. Wow. Thought for sure he was going to sack his rook there. Okay, let's go here. I think now he'll sack his rook. Now go here. So I feel like I should be winning now, but he's he's got play on the dark squares. For sure. Got to be careful. Cover mate. I don't know what to do. King's kind of stuck right here. Now he can can win my knight. I didn't really see what to do there. That was tough. That was real tough. Oh, he's tricked me. Now I'm all pinned. Maybe he'll blunder. <laughs> Not if he does stuff on dark squares. Okay, resign that. Couldn't you bishop takes f5, then bishop takes g4 in that last game? I'm not sure. Spot the dog says, good morning from London. Can't believe I missed a bullet match. Yeah, this will be uploaded though, auto-archived on Twitch. So you can go back and watch it. I said a while ago I was going to only stream for a bit longer, but yeah, as you can see, that's turned into um, something lengthier than I had in mind. This has been fun, though. It's been a good match. Okay, I'm up a rook. 
just trade off the darks for bishops. Kill his counterplay, or attempt to. Want to sack here sometime soon. Don't have to do it yet, though. Queen a3. Check. Okay, now this sack should be just decisive. If I can play it. We have no complaints here, says two week too slow. Okay, good to hear. Is it late where I live? Yes, it's almost 2 a.m. And I have almost nothing to do tomorrow. Well, that's not completely true. <laughs> I have stuff to do, but I'm going to be um, waking up a little later. Yeah, he's been pretty successful with this approach. Keeping my king in the center. And I'm trying to stay with a compact position and trade down. But it, it's ultimately only one pawn. And I'm having to go through a lot of pain. So I might have to switch it up and not play this line. Okay, let's try to let's try to castle by hand somehow. This is actually working out pretty well. Oh, until I blundered that. That's an annoying pawn to lose. Mm, go here. Get out of the way. Uh, knight e3. Bummer. And I lose this. All right. Hail Mary checkmate. Easily defensible. All right, since he didn't play knight a5, I'll struggle on a bit. All right, let's resign. <laughs> so my reading is sort of stabilizing in the mid to high 2600s against Win Z. Again, just a, just a tough opponent to gain reading against. King looks funky. Yeah, I agree. My king looked very funky in that game. It never quite got safe. How much time do you leave to studying chess on a daily routine? Well, lately I've been trying to study chess a lot while I pursue Grandmaster. So, you know, a couple, ta a couple hours at least. Let's give him a check. I'm going to play f5. I think he's going to stick his king on g2 or not. All right, guys, we're going with the sack again. Not backing down. Bishop g4. Check. It's now king e3, knight f5. So um, let's go here. Bizarre looking move, but I want to secure this rook so I can go knight there. Gonna sack his queen. Wow. Well, I think queen h2 was better. Better chance. Okay. How many norms do I need? I need two norms. I have one, yeah. My reading right now is at its peak. I'm 2472 feet A, which is nice. But yeah, need to uh, get a couple norms. Okay, so I'm trying to switch it up here, guys, not go for that same line that was giving me problems. Well, I'm on Chessable quite a bit. I haven't published any repertoires, but I'm on there virtually every day answering questions and whatnot. If you ever ask me a question, you'll see it's answered almost immediately. Okay, I'm going to go here because that threatens knight d5. Eh, it's a good reply by him, though. Now he's just going to try to trade down. Probably queen e6. Yep. Okay. Let's try to play this endgame. 
It feels like this end game should be nice for me. Try to attack his weaknesses. He's got all these weak pawns. All the weak pawns and nowhere to go. Let's put the king up here. Mm. Got to watch out for that rook check. Mm, don't like what just happened there. Trying to double up on the seventh rank. Okay, now his king's on the chopping block, so this is nice. He might be in a mating net. Almost. It's very close here. He's trying to run. Ah, he got me. The clock. Yeah, he... I think he just saw the time when we had about five, seven seconds left, something like that. And he just went for it. Good decision by him. Okay, let's try to play d4 quicker this time. Since I was able to get that move in. Go here, attack that rook in the corner. Maybe take aim against this pawn via something like this. John, what, what should I think at when facing modern openings? I play decently e4, d4, but things like g3 and fianchetto throw me off. Hmm. I mean, aside from the usual stuff, just kind of control the... Um, try to control the center as much as possible. It might be worth looking at Grandmaster games in certain lines that are problematic for you. Like if you consistently see certain flank openings that give you trouble, it would behoove you to look at some Grandmaster games. Um, okay. I want to attack this pawn. He's making it tough. He's being very solid. Hoping he blunders this capture. Or something. Oh. Got the capture on G3 going. Whose pawns are better here? I don't know. Probably his, because he has more of them. He has a lot more of them. Oh, okay. I'll take that draw. How many games are we at? 78? At some point, I'm going to have to call it quits, but I'm still enjoying this, and I'm having fun talking to you guys. Behoove is a good word. It is. I agree with that. So this is a line that I remember playing against Winzy way back in the day. Um, he's, fan he's a fan of this Shigorin. And he seems to play these positions pretty well. I mean, if you haven't noticed by now, he's a fan of virtually every unorthodox opening. Definitely knows what he's doing. Let's try to attack on this wing. Maybe get in here at some point. Because now this constitutes a potential weakness. And now maybe I can maneuver into this square. Take that, push here. I think I like this. 
it's just a little easier for me to get in with my knights. Now he's got rook problems. Take this. So because the uh, play was developing nicely on the queen side for me, I was able to maneuver with my knight a little easier than he, he was able to. Okay, go here. Bishop g7. Uh, Mubad is talking about the fan club. Yeah, if you guys want to join the John Bartholomew fan club, that would be awesome. That would mean a lot to me because then we can play tournaments, club matches, things like that in the future. It's a, it's a nice little system. Going after this knight and this pawn. Let's go here because now I'm threatening bishop takes c4. Still want to take that, but I don't want to lose b7. Wynn is playing like Kristoff's fre frequent ICC opponents. Horga. Yeah, exactly. Playing like Horga. That's right. Got to create some problems for him here. I'm not doing that enough as it stands. Wow, the sack. Okay. That changes the complexion of the game. I feel I should be doing well now. Pin. It's sharp though. Got bishop d5 coming. Just got to keep my wits about me, and I should win this game. Let's give a check and come back. It's an annoying thing to do. Yeah, he went for the rook b3. I see his tricks now. It's hard for him to land those sort of tricks when I'm expecting it, even in time pressure. But the trend of this match has been me being down on the clock a lot. So I definitely got to work to fix that. Good morning from Wake Island. Really? Wake Island is in the, the Pacific, right? I seem to remember something like that. Was there some nuclear testing done there? Thank you guys for joining that fan club. 3 a.m. in NYC, says Unifer, going to sleep. Okay. Thanks for tuning in. Definitely don't uh, blame you for going to sleep. Marshall Islands. Okay, Marshall Islands. Yeah, they've seen some nuclear testing for sure. Do you think a good opening is D4, E5? No. <laughs> this is not a good line that he's playing, but I haven't exactly been punishing it. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to just go here. This bishop's being a little annoying. Let's go after that bishop. Pick up the pace, John. On knight c5. He hung that. And he got his queen trapped. Queen takes b3 coming. Or that. <laughs> I would have thought queen takes b3. He took the knight instead. Wake Island is a coral atoll in the western Pacific. In the northeast area of the Micronesia subregion. Okay, so that doesn't say anything about nuclear testing. Yeah, someone said red zone Nova. Wake Island is an American territory. That's what I thought too. Looks like we're going to have this thing where I take on f4 again. Ah, no, he plays it a little different. Okay. Okay, um, let's take... So now the problem is, how do I... How do I keep this knight? I got to sack it again, I guess. 
get pressure against D2. Hmm. Check, and can I come here? It's a nice idea. Yeah, he sees it. It's late in the match, but he sees the tactics. But now I get this check in, and I'm coming in. Check. It's almost winning. Take this guy. Play for the attack. I feel like I've said that so much tonight. Play for the attack. Because it's been coming up in, in every game, practically. Check. Then I take the rook, and I can block the back rank mate. And he's getting mated. I mean, why don't you use Chessable for studying your own repertoires? I don't mean the ones you publish, but private lines. Um, I do, actually. Not on my main account, though. Not on J. Bartholomew. I definitely use Chessbase as my main study tool. But I do sometimes review my lines on Chessable. I think eventually we'll get to the point, at least I hope we will, where we'll we'll able to, we'll be able to offer a suite, like um, an analysis suite, that, you know, I'm not going to say it's going to be as good as as chess base because chess base is the gold standard, but I'd like it to get to a level where a, a title player would use it. Right now, that's not the case. We have good content on there. But a title player is still going to use stuff like chess base. Oh, did I miss a donation? I'll check that in a second. I'm trying to trap this guy's queen. Like this. And I think I'm going to succeed. Yep, has to give up the queen. Yet again, I'm way down on time. Bishop's trapped. He can defend against queen a6 with that. Yep. You know. Trying to get in with my knights. It's not easy. Especially when I play that. This game has to be going downhill for a little while. But I'm still winning, definitely. Especially since I got made in two. Oh no, <laughs> no made in two. Oh, bad news. Oh, <laughs> I got cocky there. I thought I had made in two. King could just back up. <laughs> That's like what was happening to Danny in the Pro Chess League today. I saw him call a couple end games that didn't didn't quite pan out, let's say. I'm going to go for the sack again if he repeats the line. Knight e5, take d4. Okay, he's playing it a little different. So let's do this then. So I can always take here. We can play ball with him like that. I want a tactics trainer that is based from all the different openings you play specifically. That That's a really good idea. That would be cool if we were able to implement that. Okay, let's take here. Mm, I want to take on h3. Maybe I could have, but I also don't want c5 to hurt me. Okay, now he's got weak pawns. Ooh, see how sneaky he is. Take, there's bishop g4. Win z, man. He's always thinking. Knight e4. He's going to trade. Interesting. 
We got him here. Okay. Hmm. Actually wasn't expecting that to go well after the trade. Oh, I gotta check that donation. Uh, Udai donated two dollars. Says, John, have you ever wondered what will happen if Alpha Zero plays for like 30 days straight? Oh, that's a good question, man. Because they only let it play for what, three hours, they said? And it was still able to beat Stockfish? Although, you know, some people have said that maybe the settings for Stockfish were not set at an optimal level. So yeah, that, <laughs> that's crazy to think about. Okay, I'm trying to trade here. Next, get my light square bishop out. The chess bra entered could win $1.8 million. He's final three, final 100 players. Whoa, for what? That's pretty cool. Okay. So I'm doing well here. Time, 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 though. Maybe could have sacked on c6, I don't know. He's going to lose that h-pawn. He's getting outplayed here, but oh, that's a bad move I just played. What's that about? Looking for knight takes c6. Mm. Oh, I took his rook. I knew what he was going to do, but it didn't matter. Don't think I had a mate there at the end. I had a lot of pieces around his king, but I didn't see a mate. Is there footage of your OTB Blitz game with Kristoff in London? I don't know, actually. I know my um, Chessable co-founder, David, he tried to take video, but I don't know if it panned out. So I got to ask him about that. Flagging on a pre-move. <laughs> yeah, that's the way it goes sometimes, though. Okay, again, I'm playing this piece down variation. But this is a big threat. Even if he takes the bishop, it's a big threat. This king's going to have to go for a walk. So, ooh, nobody has queen e2. Okay, take here first. Mm, take... All right, I guess I'll take that kind of begrudgingly and go attack d2. Um, I don't know. Rook takes d2 doesn't really inspire confidence as much as I wanted to play that move. So he's got a lot of loose pawns. Mm -hmm. Probably knight c5 coming. Mr. Winsy, good move. It's a good one. Oh, I'll slip. Meant to go to d7. Mm, not sure I should have weakened d6. Try to cut off his king for a second. Take it, John. Oh, no. Oh, no. I slipped right at the end. I didn't think he would get that last move off. And I was trying to play rook take c5, but I couldn't do it. 
that hurts. Do you like how I encourage myself to play better? Talk to myself in third person? <laughs> That's my way of coping. It's like watching yourself lose control. Out of body experience. Okay, let's go here. Yeah, it has turned into a long stream, hasn't it, Camel Clutcher? Thanks for watching. Oh, this is another really bad position. Let's castle. Try to castle out of danger. Okay, this one's disgusting. Gotta resign. Okay, here. We both seem content to play this same variation. No, he mixes it up that time, though. Okay. Go try and go for this. Mm, it's castle. Throw the ape on down the board. Yeah, mouse accuracy practice, that's right. I do slip a fair amount. I think I could get better at that if I really wanted to. Okay, let's take. You know, bishop takes, he takes the knight. All right, let's go after this. I know he wins c6, but it seems like the best way forward. I feel like all these pieces should be a problem. I don't even want to take on c2 yet. This bishop is just so strong. Rook takes h5, I can take with check and then go win his other stuff. Okay, 50 and a half to 37 and a half. Do I call it at 100 games? I think 100 games is a pretty good number. I gotta play better in this line. It's kind of annoying that I'm not doing better here. Okay, now I can look for knight d5, potentially. It's gonna go h6. That's what I would do. Takes first. Okay. I'm going through so much pain just to keep this one pawn <laughs> every game. But it's like, you know, taking the principled stance. I feel like my position should be good. And I try to play in uh, a manner to prove that. Yeah, got a book up on the England, that's right. Just one of those lines, it's hard to refute and bullet. Let's take that guy. Try to straighten out our pawns. Down on time. Need to hurry. We're gonna get him here, guys. Okay, won that one. Yeah, this is fizz. This is turning into a long match. But I think I'm gonna stop at 100 games. That sounds like such a degen thing to say. I'm gonna stop at 100 games. I think I've I've had my fill after that. Um, let's go here. Attack this. Also threaten bishop e4. 
Yeah, he's good. He sees the tactics, even though it's late in the match. He sees the tactics still. He's a very tactically astute opponent. I don't care if he takes this pawn. Let's go g6. Hmm. Take. Knight takes a2. It'll be a nice shot. Or knight a2 even. And then take on c3. I see the tactics though as well. At least I'm trying. Okay. What was your rating at the beginning of this? It was a little higher. It was 27 something. All right. I'm not going to try to defend that pawn. I'm just going to do this. I think I had success with this. Just develop. Make him take on e5 eventually. So castle now. Okay. It's just a normal position. He's got a slight space edge, but I don't think that matters much. Now this could be awkward for him. I'm threatening e4. Doesn't do much, though. I'll still play it. Maybe I can get some sort of strategic edge out of this. Go here. Try to get this knight to f5 by maneuvering. Hmm. Drop that pawn, though. Mm, try to go after this h-pawn. Now the f-pawn. Okay, maybe I have some counterplay against this king. Looking for a mating net. B5? B5 is a mating net. That's a nice one. Yeah, he put himself in a box in the corner there, around the side of the board. Still going to go for this line. Even after all these games. And Rook H2, he deviates. Okay. See, that's like a moral victory in a match when you get someone to deviate from a line finally. You just feel so fulfilled. He's still going to play his bishop e2 thing. And I am still going to sack. No, actually, I'm going to go here. I can go here now. Probably wants to keep his dark square bishop. No, he doesn't. Okay, let's play f6. Like that, mate? Yeah, that was a fun one. That was a cool one to play. Okay. If he castles, I can check and play knight b4. I didn't notice he could do that, though. Gotta create some mayhem now. Okay. Second stuff. Wish me luck. Rook e8 coming. Some chances. Queen b2. Good defensive move by him. Ooh, rook f8. Okay, got him. Got him with that. Now we got to play for speed. Ah, uh, knight takes g5. Was there? Take. Oh man, did not even notice that. Okay, I'll resign that. Did not notice that that was protected by the knight. Mm-hmm. Fifty-three and a half, thirty-eight and a half. Let's play the knight c3 move again. He's just going to take immediately this time. OK. 
Okay, I'm going to go e4. Stick the bishop here, try to control this diagonal. And look to castle. <laughs> See, if I were a kid, my mom would definitely have told me to get off the computer about 70 games ago. But it's nice being an adult. There's no one in my life to tell me no. <laughs> okay, um, he wants this pawn. I'm going to sack that pawn. Play for the attack. Thanks to this move. Threat. He takes on f8. I guess he's holding there. Okay, let's go here. I want to keep this option open. Ah, he has that though. All right, got a sack of peace. Trying for some initiative. Okay, his knight's a little wildly placed. Push some pawns. I still have chances here, definitely. 100%. I'm not going to take the draw. I'll try to flag him. Yep, there we go. Because that's much easier for me to play. He doesn't have as many checks as I do. Even though he has a knight, and knight and bullet is you know, one of the best pieces to have. He was hindered because my king could easily escape the checks, whereas he had to guess which file I was going to check him on. So that's, that's a tough pre-moving situation for him. F4, this looks fine. It's castle. And I'll toss in this move so he can't take here so easily. Yeah, now take. Okay, so I'm going to give him d4. He doesn't want it. Let's solidify. Now I'm going to pull this bishop back. And I think go for this and look for the trade. If you were a kid, you'd be a legend. <laughs> well, thank you for that. Hey, Tom Walters. Yeah, glad you could catch a stream. Put this pawn up on A4. Why is the knight so good specifically in bullet? Because it, it checks in such random looking ways, oftentimes. That's the whole reason why. Unpredictable. The rook and the bishop, they're linear pieces. But knights, you can never sleep on a knight. Okay, trying my best here to generate something. But he's playing good, stubborn defense. Ooh, got that move in. That's helpful. Oh, but he just saw it. Get the trade of the pawns. Watch for the rook takes. Mm. Instead, I got the rook takes wrong. Yeah, now that's an easy flag for him. Hmm. I knew he was going to take that pawn at some point. Maybe at that point he sort of had to because it was getting dangerous. Yeah. What Black Scott said, he said it's not not easy to quickly spot knight moves, easy to see other pieces because they have linear path. That's exactly right. Knights can reach any square on the board, whereas, say, a bishop 
you want to compare it to the other minor piece, you know, obviously with a bishop, you only have to worry about half the squares. I think this is how this line is supposed to be played, but I don't recall exactly. Just play h3. Now taking looks appropriate. I think I'll do that. Hmm. Guess I'll go here. <laughs> okay, let's try to attack that bishop somehow. F4, F5. Yes, yeah, bishop D3, though. Okay, that helps. Fork those two pieces. So now I win this knight at the end. Go here. Does he have any tricks? I don't think so. there. And this should be an easy checkmate. Tried to blitz me out there. After 96, he realized his position was going downhill. Oh, got the queen. Finally caught him in something. An opening trap, that is. Okay, that ends it. And when you have everyone, when you have a knight, you are looking to be tricky, but the defender isn't expecting it. Biffins donated five dollars. Hope it's not too late. John, getting to be good streaming time for us Australian viewers. Uh huh. We got an Aussie in our midst. Cool. Yeah, thanks for tuning in. The stream has gone on for a long time. But it's been a lot of fun. I've really enjoyed hanging out with you guys. Oh, hey, Tea and Roses. How are you doing, Gwen? Okay, need some pawn action. I'm going to try to go for g4, g4, g5. Break up his structure. And now this, uh, messed up that move though. Um, okay, let's just keep pushing. You can throw in bishop g4 though, yeah, just like he did. Let's do this. Okay, guess I'll take here. If I can play g6, I like my position. So he takes that pawn as he should. All right though, I've got a dark uh, light square bishop. So that's that's not simple for him. Need to get my knight in the game. Don't know where it's going though. Mm, good move. Didn't see that. Okay, yeah, he got that one. I'm not sure what his fide rating is. The infamous win Z. Okay, let's try this move this time. I think previously I've been taking there. I feel like he's not such an active tournament player. All right, you can you can have that B pawn. Winzy, if you really want it, I'm not going to stand in your way. Because now you've got stuff to deal with with your queen. The trapping of the queen. Mm, let's just go here. Give a check. <laughs> just the king on g3 or f2 or somewhere in that region. Just utterly standard. It's happening every game. Mm, 
Okay, check. Just need to land something decisive here like that. And I'm not going to forget to take the rook on a1 that time. Any tips slash practice to get rid of a sort of tunnel vision in chess? Where you, for example, miss a certain line, solution, hanging pieces. Hmm. That's a tough one because I think that mostly just comes with experience. I know that's not the answer you wanted to hear. But uh, yeah, tunnel vision, I found, is mostly a problem when you're lower rated. And it never completely goes away. Like sometimes you will experience tunnel vision. But it should get better as you get, as you improve. Two more games. Okay, two more games, guys. And as a courtesy, I definitely want to tell him that I'm going to quit soon. It's a good thing to do when you played a long match with someone. Okay, let's trade off the light square bishops. Now, this is the sort of position I like instead of that mainline England gambit stuff. Um, okay, let's go in with the knight. Try to get to the f6 square now. I'm not sure of the wisdom of this maneuver, but. It's sort of like whose knights are better here? And there's a standoff going on the file. Yeah, I'm not sure who's better in this position. Looks drawish, actually, in terms of a pure chess result. Problem is, I can't leave with my knight ever. As you guys see what would happen if uh, I did that. Okay, I'm finally going to do this. Well, this is nice. I get to win this pawn. And I won on time. Okay. I'm just going to tell him. I, I wish I would have told him a game ago, but last game. Oh, what? Rematch. Is he going to run on the 99th game? Win Z, we got to play one more. You can't quit on the 99th game. <laughs> I didn't even get a chance to type anything, and he just quit. He's done. <laughs> that was a really fun match, too. So I'll put the rematch out there in case he wants it. Because you saw earlier in the session, if you've been watching this entire stream, there's probably only one of one or two of you still remaining. But at the beginning of the stream, he uh, he was playing, and then he quit. I'd play another game or two against someone, and then he'd come back. Just the lack of aesthetics to quit on the 99th game. But that's true to his chess style, too. He flaunts convention. He does what he wants. So, hey, I guess he, he's not the type of guy who's going to quit on a round number. He wants to keep 2,600. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. So final score, 58 and a half, 40 and a half. I did all right. So maintained uh, somewhat of a lead the whole match. He came back after initially being in a hole. 2600 rating is pretty aesthetic. Yeah, you're right. Maybe he, he does want that rating. I will. I'll try to post this match. Maybe take out some of the earlier stuff, but yeah, post this. I am shocked, Fikestro. I mean, this wasn't approaching Hikaru Nakamura versus Eric Hansen marathon matches, but 100 games is pretty significant. I remember in that Road to 2800 uh, video, I also had a very long match with him. 
Oh, wow. Thorax. <laughs> Thorax, $99 for the 99 games. <laughs> Dude, you've been absolutely spoiling me tonight. That's a nice touch. The $99, exactly. Thanks so much, man. And Biffins donated $5 for the game we never got to see, the 100th. <laughs> yeah, Thorax, you must have been watching the entire time. Because you were right there, right from the beginning. So, just missed out on that one, one game, that 100th game. But it was fun. We got into a back and forth, like, opening discussion as well. A lot of the same lines being repeated, especially me with Black, because he was opening with B3 every single game. And I was trying to take the center, get my light square bishop out to one of these squares and go from there. Okay. Yeah, thanks again, Thorax. Glad you've been enjoying it. And as Mubot said, if you guys haven't joined the John Bartholomew fan club on chess.com, please do. Because in future streams, we'll be able to play club matches against other clubs. So, like if we wanted to play Eric Hansen and the Chess Bras, we could play a club match versus them. Or we can do a viewer tournament where I would also stream and, and play the tournament. You guys have a chance to play against me. So, make sure you join that club on chess.com. Oh, I got the official declined notification from Winzy. He's done. Where is that on the chess.com site, says Biffins. Look at the link that Mubot just posted. So it should be under the club section, but you can click that link a few messages up. John, why are you so handsome? Uh, you flatter me, Burak. When is your next stream? Lord Ulrich, if you guys want, I'll try to stream tomorrow. I'll sleep in, but maybe I can stream in the evening again. I think that would be a good plan. Did a bullet stream today, maybe Blitz or something else tomorrow? If there's enough interest, maybe we can run a tournament too. I think that would be fun. So yeah, let's plan for a stream tomorrow night. I'll post on my Twitter. And also, um, if I remember, I'll try to schedule it on Twitch. And we'll either do like a viewer tournament or play some Blitz. One of the two. Yeah, my pleasure, guys. Thanks a lot. Uh, what time in the evening? Ask Gold Eaglet. Definitely earlier than today. So I've got some stuff to do on Friday. I would, I don't want to say a time, but tentatively 9 o'clock, let's say. I think today we started after 11, my time. So let's, let's say tentatively like 9 o'clock. I'll try to stick to that. John, are you going to do longer time controls occasionally? I think, yes, I would like to. I somehow feel that those are better for just the pure YouTube videos as opposed to streaming because uh, when streaming there's always the chance someone could stream snipe you in a longer game I think I'm more susceptible to that but I'll probably play some longer games on stream yeah 9 o'clock my time meaning US Central Time it's currently 2.40am here US Central Time so you can check out however many hours that is difference compared to your time zone what is 9 o'clock European time? So I think Central European time is either 6 or 7 hours ahead. So that, that would be pretty early. But yeah, I'll try to aim for slightly earlier to start my time. Nose Knows All says, Your rapid slash classical games on YouTube have been super useful to my improvement. So cheers for that, John. Thanks. Thank you. Yeah, those are the best videos of mine to watch of the regular videos I post, Bullet, Blitz, Standard. Um, I have the most time to explain my thoughts in those. Cool. That's so good to hear from you guys that those videos have helped you. Yeah, I agree, Biffins. I mean, I've known about Twitch for a long time, but doing these streams and seeing the support and how much you guys enjoy these videos, I hope, really encourages me to stream more when I can. So you're right, YouTube just doesn't have that same level of interactivity and community, like not nearly. 
All right, guys, I'm going to sign off. Hope everyone has a good day. And I hope to see many of you tomorrow. I'm going to stream again. All right, bye, guys. Thanks again for the love and the donations and the views. Appreciate it. More to come. See ya.